Hey Arizona, just because weed is legal now doesn't mean your criminal record is clear. You need to visit azexpunge.org today. The Reclaim Your Future campaign can expunge your record for free. Go to azexpunge.org now.
Hey Arizona, just because weed is legal now doesn't mean your criminal record is clear. You need to visit azexpunge.org today. The Reclaim Your Future campaign can expunge your record for free. Go to azexpunge.org now. Disclaimer, this video, like all videos featured on this channel, is definitely intended for mature audiences. The video is likely to contain profane language, content is inappropriate for minors. The video is not for kids. Welcome to the Dr. Green Jump Show. Not an
Yes, many helps are needed on this strong day. What's poppin' is the Dr. Green Thumb Show live on Twitch, Discord, YouTube, and the whole site, www.bereal.tv. And to my right, Mr. Good Light, DJ C Minus. Ah, yeah. Happy Friday. Emerges yes. from the fog. That's right. Emergence from the fog. And uh, standing in uh, for a few minutes uh, while Bobo is coming in hot. <laughs> Supposedly. The <I> invisible <laughs> man. Hello, guys. What the fuck's happening? Hey, guy. It's good to see you guys. <laughs> Even though you can't see me. <laughs> We also have uh, the Treehouse crew, Bolton, Blombo, Bra Bra, and the Dominator. Yo, shout out to Big Drum, Eric Bobo, coming in hot. <laughs> <laughs> he likes it hot, hot, hot. He sure did say that. Uh, we also have the strong one back in the building. Hey. What up? <laughs> we have the Concentrate King, Kelly Blaze. You know I'm scared like people are going to actually start thinking that's my name. Hey, Blaith, what's hey, going Blaith? on? Blaith? Yeah. You're, you're from Spain. I'm Blaith from yeah, Spain. And everybody's in Barcelona this week. Everybody's out uh, there. In Barth- Barcelona. In Barthe. In Barthe. Yeah. Spanibus. That's, that's Spanibus. Spanibus. Yeah, I'm gonna, I think I want to Spanibus. Here. Oh, I went a couple years ago, and I'm having such FOMO because it's getting bigger and bigger every year. It's really, really And they good. actually say it's a it's a, a, a well-worthy uh, uh, cannabis. Uh, yes, big it is. Time. It's, big time. It's, it's pretty dope. We yep. played it. Uh, some years back. Um, before, it's been going before, six years now, right? B- no, it's been going a bit longer than that. Before Americans really start going there from the cannabis industry, um, it was pretty big for Europe. Now it's bigger because now everybody that's in the cannabis industry makes their way down there so they can get their brands up in Spain. Yep. I mean, but uh, yeah, we played it some years back and it was kind of big then. You could see it growing. Right. What is their uh, what's their policy? Is they're like recreational, are they legal at all? I mean, I believe it's recreational. Yeah, it is okay. Yeah, I think cool. they legalized it a while back. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, you're right. It probably has been going on a lot longer, but like the last six years, like has been the exactly the Americans. Of yeah. They got their cafes there. Yeah, they do. Yeah, dope. Yeah, uh, the guys uh, that own uh, the greenhouse in Amsterdam, they own a, a dispensary or a collective or whatever they're calling it down there uh, called strain hunters oh arian or yeah or, or, and you could have dinner and i think drinks there but you gotta be you a, pronounce but, his name arian there you go but you gotta have a uh you gotta have a membership there mm. right i mean Shout and for to tourists they'll give them a special a special membership you know what i mean if they're of age obviously you know what i mean Those germany's guys. wrecked now right I believe they're so, becoming yeah. like they passed the law. I don't think it happened yet, but it's supposed to be in effect. Any second. Spain like actually happened. I was going to say Spain actually isn't recreational. It's actually just decriminalized. Over oh, OK, there. There you oh. Go. that's good. So well, that's that. good. Yeah, too. that's a it start. I mean, oh, look at the oh, look who's here. I mean, it's not even you know, <laughs> just coming <laughs> into <laughs> my shot. Oh, wow. dipped your head in. Late and hot. <laughs> Interrupting my shot. <laughs> Ladies Man, and gentlemen, he came in hot. Eric, the interrupter Bobo. Uh, it was pretty good, baby. What up, man? I got to go with it. That's all right. <laughs> At least you got yourself a cooler. Damn. I love you. He got himself a cooler. Had to. Hey, um, One of those days. Callie Blaze. <laughs> yes, sir. You went to Hall of Flowers. I did. And uh, we hosted a thing for uh, High Rise. Salute to High Rise for uh, allowing us to host their, you know, um, you know, part of their party they were throwing. Um, but how was the actual Hall of Flowers event? Like, because what I what I heard, um, when as I got there was that uh, at this particular Hall of Flowers, there are a lot of out of state brands now being highlighted for this particular one. There was there was actually more than usually you don't even see any out of state brands. It's usually just California, right? But it's the same type of thing. I think people are starting to they want to have a presence here to make their presence bigger in their own state. Right. You know, so getting that notoriety or recognition here, like kind of adds to their resume so yeah we did it, see more it allows the the multi-state operation <laughs> mso's yep and Absolutely. what's crazy is that you didn't see a lot of california brands because half of their asses are out in spain right yep. now yep there was, a lot, there was a lot of um like ancillary companies you know packaging uh point of sale systems and and things like that that people for the run their day-to-days but it was good because it wasn't too big where it kept it kind of intimate and the quality of the person who was there were good shoppers. Right, because sometimes buyers, you know? when it's so big, it's overwhelming. Correct. And you got to, like, weed out who are the real people yeah. to talk to because yeah. there are some very real people there, but 
you have to get through the weeds like all these talk a lot folks that are upstart brands mm -hmm. trying to like you know network to become a stronger brand and sometimes they're blowing smoke up your ass you know what i'm saying um but there are really you know on the one people there it's just you know getting to know them and networking with them and finding out who they are yeah but uh is it the convention the hall of flowers yeah like a it's a b2b like business to business so if you have like like myself if you have a, a concentrate company or a flower company the buyers from the big dispensaries they all come so it's a way to showcase your, your product right. directly to the people who are going to be buying it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that's right. Yeah. Steph Tone, strong one. I want to congratulate you on um, Coachella, the Coachella gig. I know you guys are in rehearsals for that right now. How's that shit going? Uh, thank you first. And uh, rehearsals were great. We actually, today was our last day. Uh, we'll start back up again at the beginning of the next month and just go right into the show. I know you're going to kill it. It's going to be fun. I already know, bro. You are going to kill it. Um, I mean that's a big gig right there, man. Yeah, it's it's a long time. I've never I've never been, so it'll be my you first. Oh, I, I, I went to a couple some way back. Yeah, but they're not the ones I went to were when they were barely starting to grow. They they were nothing like what it is today. Yeah, you guys are on one of the biggest stages right now. Yeah, that's gonna be awesome. Y'all are gonna kill that. Long time coming too. Yeah, it'd be fun. Yeah, nice change up too. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, because we haven't done anything like that. It's yeah. so hectic though. Like even no, even if you're hooked up and you got yeah. every band, if you're going to hang out, <sighs> it's a pain in the ass. Good lord! Like even for artists, like you know, I went with someone one year, and even with their, you know, the golf carts and all this, it was missions to get everywhere. Like how long you had to wait? Like yeah. if you didn't have like a helicopter. You're like you're, you know, because well, it's such an enormous. It event. is. It's huge, yeah. man. And the but parking, I mean that's truth, truthfully, and Steph could tell you this. That's probably and so could um, Bobo. That's probably every other European festival True. for sure that have been around for like 40, 50 years. Like the the Reading and the yeah. Leeds and uh, the Rock and Ring and Glastonbury. Glastonbury. It takes a lot of work and staff and <sighs> everything to to make those kind of festivals. And, and it's amazing because most of the people, if not all of them, are all volunteers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. exactly. They ain't getting paid a lot of money. Yeah. Like, I mean, I know there's some people getting paid, but yes. let's say uh, the majority, it's all volunteers. You know, people that just love the event. You know what I mean? It's part of their community. They just, they love to be part of it and take, you know, take care of the people that come out. And people building up a resume, too, because, like, if people want to get into the production game. Yeah. That's one way. You volunteer and you kick ass at the job. And people take notice of that and say, hey, that one person that was working over here, I want them back. They were actually on it. And, that, you know, then goes your fucking journey. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, it's it's a lot to, to camp out for a number of days in a place that the traffic is just ridiculous to come in and out of. So, you don't really, if you're going up there. You got to stay. You got to stay. Yeah. You don't want to be going in and out and dealing with that the three days because you're going to deal with that the yep. three days. You might be in a small co rural community or or maybe a smaller town or something like that, but you're going to be legit camping. Add yep. stuff. Don't, don't, yeah, Ooh. don't go there expecting the world. You better bring the, as much of the world with you as you yep. can. Or 100. Or yes. you better have a lot of money because some of these boys, right, oh, yeah. they do house parties that like literally half a million dollar party. They, For like, real? Like, hey, yes. Billionaires, billionaires go billionaires there and, and they go get those Titan buses. If you ever see yes. those? Yep. Yeah. Where it's like, uh, you, you've seen them, right? Yeah, yeah. It's not like a regular tour bus. This is like a rolling condominium, yep. practically. Yeah. A rolling penthouse. Luxury. It's wide. And taller than your average bus. Mm -hmm. It's it's not really a bus, but some of these billionaires have them go parked out in a section, and this is the yep. their uh, center, their sanctuary. So like if the after all day of trucking from yeah. one stage to another and dealing with all the shit, they got their yeah. their luxurious Titan bus, and most importantly, a shower and a yeah. shower yeah. and a shitter. Yeah, and a shitter yeah. Too. those buses actually have the bulk. Yeah. That's like Burning Man. The people yeah. who got the money, they'll have their setup so like these huge, like basically a hotel on wheels. Everybody else is, you know, breathing dirt. They're like, <laughs> rough, rough yeah. Everybody's rough else is ass out. Oh yeah. Oh man, it's rough next stuff. I is. can only imagine because back when I played Coachella in uh, 2003, 
and 20 oh, years ago yeah oh my 20, god 21, 21 years ago. and uh and i remember like it was such a it was such a hard time finding a hotel everything was you know so we ended up finding like there was these houses out there that were throwing parties 24 hours but they were also renting rooms yeah. so i dude we got a hold of one of those and we showed up the first night and it was bonkers like like imagine like the, the house party from old school, but just packed and everyone's party. And I was just like, "Yo, I can't sleep in this." Like, I yeah. can't sleep here. Like, sleep. yo, because and then you know, and then we ended up finding this like kind of lake that was nearby, and we just drove in there, and then came back in the morning, and it was still cracking. Like it was like yep. right around ten eleven. It was just as crazy as it was when we got there at like one thirty. Gives new meaning to. And you don't stop. And you Word. don't stop. Um, I was like, I'll cool. tell you what. Anybody who owns a crib that does uh, Airbnb it, yeah. be at that time, with the, with all the festival season, like mm. Coachella stage coach and all that, they're making. Just they those make two money. weekends alone they pays can, for their whole. It shit. Really does because yeah. they charge like five to ten times the but rate. You would like, just hope that they don't <laughs> mess up the property. Well, even if no, they, they do, have, like, even if they do, you've made enough to. To yep. deal with the damages. And there I is mean, obviously, insurance. you don't they want... They have insurance, too. Yeah. yeah, you got insurance. And obviously, you, don't, you want the least damage as possible. You don't want no damage. But if you're going... If you do get any, you've made so much in that weekend from Coachella and Stagecoach and yep. the rest that happens out there, all the events where people don't want to go back and forth. They're looking for a place to stay out there outside of a hotel. You're banking. Thank yeah. You. you can afford those little... Yeah fuck ups that some of these people make and like you're just you know and the cool th you know the cool thing for them is that like now whereas coachella used to be one weekend it's two weekends yeah. and then stage goes two is one or two i don't remember if that's one or two i did my, i know for sure one weekend usually the first weekend for coachella is always the biggest correct yeah, yeah. but they didn't divide weekend. anything up they just doubled up yep that's sure. all they did Pretty just much. you got double dose double dose yeah. yeah. So, I mean, if you're renting a house on on Airbnb in that area, you're yeah, killing, killing it. it. Anywhere so, in Coachella, those so, two Coachella. weekends could set you up. So, Coachella, the city of Coachella makes so much money that it's nothing for the the residents to really be complaining about. Cause no, because they, they so make well, money. Well, they complain, but they make money. They make so. that renting money. their houses. Yeah. Their businesses make money if the, they own. Yeah, the you know, locals. The city yeah. reaps the benefit of. The, the the dollars spent there from hotels to gas stations to restaurants yeah. to convenience stores mm -hmm. every little aspect that these um, the that these festivals people, that yeah. these events bring yep. the city reaps the rewards from that and you know with that money if they're doing it right they upgrade things in the city and right. everybody is happy um, it doesn't always happen like this but it's yeah. supposed to like for instance when we were doing the smoke out for those six seven years whatever. San Bernardino was making a lot of money with us before they were making money with anybody else. Then they start making money with everybody else after we mm -hmm. prove that it could be made there. But like realistically, every smoke out, um, people were getting in hotels. We didn't have Air a a Airbnbs then, but all the hotels would get Look, yeah, booked sold up. Out. Oh, yeah, yep. sold out. Campgrounds uh, nearby. Um, the influx of people going into the restaurants and the fast food joints and the and the the convenience stores and Helps the city. and the rest yeah. and the money that they're spending in between the days if we were throwing like a, a multiple day event because they're not just spending that day they're spending through the 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 amount of days you're throwing the event and the city will work with you if you're making them that kind of money not going to tolerate bullshit but they will not be so damn like on you you know as long as long, long as you're doing your best to keep it clean and all that shit and without yeah. any issues happening any major issues happening they'll work with you because they know the kind of money that this event is bringing the city and coachella they're not going to complain they're making so much money from from that event man insane insane, it really is. insane. when is it by the way steph when is it uh uh they may we're playing on the 12th and the 19th i don't know if it's in on. april of april okay yeah. used that, to be in october but they the first, flipped to april is the first night on friday or do they do <laughs> it's a friday yeah they do four nights yeah no it's three nights three nights friday yeah. saturday sunday yeah right? and when are you on friday friday yeah good because right i'll there. still be here i mean look at that lineup look yeah. look at the top lineup Best friday. justice 
Oh, yeah. Then you got Tyler, the creator, doing Saturday. He's going to massacre that shit. They got Ice Spice on Coachella. Clown core. Oh, my God. They got clown core. They got Ice Spice on Ice Crombin. All early and shit. She barely knows how to perform. Blime. Like, like. Oh, oh, no oh, girl, oh, girl barely knows how to pr- perform. She's how, whack. Do you, how do you put Big her time. on the biggest stage right now when she barely knows what she's doing? Because her fans <laughs> will still like it. That's yeah, why. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah but. I, I agree with yeah, you. I, I yeah, I agree with you. I mean, yeah. they should give her a year to get her show together and then pop her up yeah. next year. I mean, she'll still be popping. She's, be she's got some momentum. But, like, right now, come on. She's gonna do that little ass shake she does everywhere. Yeah, I see. Th- and not that we mind this, right. but I'm saying that's all we got. I see three days of full lineups, and mm-hmm. then there's the thing at the very Those end. Those cats gonna kill. And no doubt, I'm like, well, where's no doubt gonna be? I think they'll play all three days. Be. All day? Yeah, I, all three days. I, I know Doja Doja cats gonna kill. <laughs> Doja 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 Doja. Her performance for sure. If too. I if I, I was her. up there, I'd go see Doja Cat for sure. Yep. I'd see the Deftones. See Doja Cat. Um, Tyler, I'd see Tyler. Yes, most definitely go see Tyler. Skipping ice, ice spice. Skipping that. I mean, I already know what I'm gonna see. I see Blur because they're okay. they're amazing. Blur. I might go see John Batiste, man. Oh, he's dope. dope. My man is dope. I'm gonna go on that Saturday for sure. Yeah, perfect. Well, disco boy. machine. I'm not. <laughs> yeah, I'll be not. there. Oh, Santa go, Fe- Bobo? I will. I will be watching hey, it bro. on like a live stream. Let me tell you what, Santa Fe Clan is gonna kill that. Yeah, shit. hell yeah, they do. Well, no, it's a, it's a, he, it's a, the, he, it's a rapper. He's by himself. Just he's wins. got a band. Yeah, yeah. But he's Santa Fe Clan. Um, he's got a great show. Yeah, he did. Like that dude. Santa Fe. If he does what what he normally does, he's gonna kill that crowd. And salute to Santa Fe, cause uh, he's a he's a dope motherfucker, man. Love that guy. He can rap his ass off, man. You got a little right. bit of ass, don't rap your ass off too much, or you ain't gonna have no ass, Eric Bobo. Man, hey, man. What's uh what's the milligrams you drinking over there, son? Um, two five, twenty five. Bring it. It's stronger, right? There's, uh, there's 50 you milligrams. Get the michelada, chichelada, sorry. I can hit it. You want me to put those syringes? In. <laughs> <laughs> oh I can my dose it for God. you. Damn. Oh, there's no, there's no nice bobo you dose. You could dose it, though. Yeah, yeah. I could dose. Dose, uh, dose stuff. <laughs> Don't come too close on the extra dose. Woo! Yo, did you hear um, that J-Lo, she had to cancel some show? Why? No way. Por qué? Because of her, her, her tour is not selling. Ooh. Uh, in some spots, they you know, cancel you, like about six shows. Wow. Yeah, uh, well, Bad Bunny apparently uh, had to, I think, do the same. What? That, no that dude sells because, out like well, arenas. Well, because no? you know he toured back to back and was about to go back to back to back. Yeah. But the thing is, is his it's too much. It's oversaturating the market, and his the ticket to go see my dude is expensive. So he's yeah, wearing his fans out. People ain't gonna go two, three times yeah. in a row. And then they just yeah. gave him shit because, like, you know, he was pissed off that, you know, like, people were, were recording his show as he's doing his show. Like, they had the phones up, and they're, you know, streaming it or recording it, and he got a little bent by this. And uh, apparently, and this was in the news last week, that uh, his, his uh, representation were suing the fans that had recording Re- recorded him. Oh, that's part of it, bro. Unless, yeah. Horrible. Beery, look this up. Yeah, that's yeah. stupid. I mean, who I th- want you to know that I'm not making this shit up. Oh, right I now. believe you. I just oh, think I know it's you stupid do. that they're just like, you get It's very mad. stupid. It's part of the show, it's man. Bad Bunny suing wow. fan over concert footage. Don't <clears throat> post on YouTube. On YouTube. Wow. So if you really. Ponyo, man. Good luck. Mm. Carajo. Good luck. So, if you really think that a fan recording a piece of your show on their phone and posting it on YouTube is going to hurt your fan, like, it's going to hurt you in any way. Well, actually hurt your image. You look like a douchebag. Well, look. <laughs> you know? 
Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, like if they catch him performing whack, then <laughs> maybe. No. But well, that's yeah. I mean, if he's killing it, how could that hurt? It's right. free promotion. That you Bad can. Bunny says he owns the rights to live performances um, with music, oh, and the fuck. person did not have authorization or consent oh. to record. Oh fuck! What is it? Just what were you gonna say, Steph? Because I saw you. Oh, I was that. gonna say that you could suck, and they'll still like you. True yeah. that. That's, I mean, that's what. That's what. Actually, the one of the things people like is they get to see you actually fail. They're like, oh. Good. It's human, yeah. it's human being up yeah. there. Yeah. Herman. Oh, man. Herman. <laughs> to, <laughs> to be Herman <laughs> is to err. <laughs> <'Cause> there's all, <laughs> yeah, there's always gonna be some, you know, some. The haters are always in the crowd, but they bought the tickets still. They came to see the show. That's what they like to do. Let them go out there and hate. Yeah, they spent money to get there. But, yeah. but to, I mean, I guess you know he's pop star level, and maybe some pop stars don't want you filming their shit to not give away the show, right? But still, you know, you don't really see the, some of the biggest pop stars doing that. They're letting their people, you know, put their phones up and catch that moment. Um, Is there anybody who's, like, doing the Dave Chappelle thing where you can't bring it? You only in? hear that about comedians. Comedy, right? Yeah, yeah. comedians. And I understand that because, right. you know, they got a tour with that. And if, if you heard the joke, if you heard a joke it. somewhere and you know the punchline before it comes out, you know, it, that causes them to have to change up. Yep. The material all the time right and yeah. you know other other comedians they don't want people recording because they might say some controversial shit and they don't want it blasted all over the fucking place right so it affects their gigs um but <sighs> musicians do you, do, but do you That's think dumb. do you think that as far as music and concerts would the fans be upset if they could not bring their phones in and record not yes. if you told you, them first <laughs> yeah, there you, you go. Not if you did know. what like the Dave Chappelle right. shit does, where it's like, it's on when you ticket. buy that ticket, it's on the ticket, must bag phone. I mean, because I do, because I then you could yeah. make your choice right. when you buy your ticket. It's right. gonna give you all that information. If you're just buying it blindly because you're excited, oh, I'm gonna buy it before it sells out, and you're not reading, yeah, the little fine print shit. Like, we have to bag your phone. You cannot bring your phone in. Yep. Right, right. You can't be upset because. One, you didn't read it. Two, if you had read it, you wouldn't be upset because you would already psychologically be ready to give up the phone. Like, okay, I'm just going to leave my phone in the car. I ain't giving it but to that, these that motherfuckers. Wouldn't, but that wouldn't be a, a, a deal breaker to go see no. concerts. I bagged my phone. All right. Yeah, I've done it. Right? No problem. You bagged we your phone. It. Correct. For the comedy, no problem. But I'll be honest with you. I think if they did it for music... A People would of, be pissed off. They would yeah. be pissed, and not yeah. just that. Like, if somebody's there and they're in front row in the pit, they want to show everybody, but, look where but, I'm at. Now, if they but, paid five racks and they can't even listen, flex. Listen, they might be a little bent, <clears throat> but Steph could tell you and Bobo could tell you. If they love you enough, they'll still do it. They'll still do it to come see you because I, they never know if they might see you again. My opinion is, is one where I actually love them. You know what I mean? Like, I'm grateful that I can perform music for a living, you know what I mean? If they want to yeah. video the show, you know what I mean? That's their thing, you know, they need to save it for themselves. They want to post it. Either's fine, because at the end of the day, like what you guys just said a little while ago is, if you're killing it, man, it's that's that's the oldest, greatest promotion that everybody True used that. to have. That was word of mouth, but yeah. word of mouth now is digital. Uh, you know, for yeah. me, yeah. It's, it's instant. It's If it's something that we wanted to be a surprise to everyone the first time they saw it, Perhaps we would bag, have them bag it up. But if we're just doing our gen, gen, general show, right, that it's lights and a backdrop and we're just doing different things on the set list and it's not that crazy, we didn't spend millions of dollars in production. Right. I don't give a goddamn if a, if a fan is filming. It makes them happy. It's usually. like, yeah. have that moment. Correct. You know what I mean? Remember. But if I wanted it to be a surprise, if we had spent all this crazy-ass money on, on production and it has to be a surprise to everyone, perhaps we asked to bag the phone. Right. But, like, we don't do stuff like that. So, like, that's never the scenario with us. It, it doesn't distract me. Yeah, it's never. Um, it, yeah, it, it doesn't. Is, it doesn't bother me like that. It's it's crazy because you know, for for us starting out, we're used to the crowd just like engaging themselves, not having a, a phone to have to you know look through the screen to see the show. But mm -hmm. nowadays, 
this is how they're enjoying the show. We are enjoying yeah. the show through their phone. But that's the and thing. Man. That's their thing. You got to let them. Are live. they really yeah. enjoying it? Because I was literally going to say right before you, I was like, before phones. We all even had more fun at concerts. Why? Because you were not paying attention. You weren't distracted. You were not right. paying attention yeah. to try to get a good shot. <gasps> you were literally right. singing the song with them. If you're recording, I still you do that at the show. I ain't got my phone out. But that's the way it should be. That's how you <laughs> right. really enjoy it. The phone I, fucks it up. I but bet the, you if you ask the fans, right? Like, at, let's just say at one of our shows, for example, coming up on this tour, I bet you if we ask people, hey, we want you to keep your phones in your pockets. Yeah. Right, we didn't take them from you at the door, but we want you to keep the phones in the pockets and experience this like holy. Mm -hmm. Now, some people would not pay attention to that, or they'd forget after a song or two and break out the phones. But the people that actually pocket the phone, they would have a full experience because, again, like Callie Blay said, like Blaith said, yeah. um, they wouldn't be distracted in trying to get the shot. Of course. You know what yeah. I mean? Everybody's a director in this moment. You know what I mean? Instead of being a fan. But it's right. like, you know, hey, some fans are like, oh, man, I got to get this moment. That's the thing. Is that that's, that's where that's where yeah. we're at right now. It is. We're, we're in the social media content thing, thing that, that, oh, content. man, I'm, I'm, and, I'm and, killing. They're and, killing it. And, and they want to show, look, I'm right here. Exactly. Right. It's yeah. happening. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Oh, they do it for the gram. I, wa I watch I YouTube videos all day, every day. That's, that's, that's my TV. And... I'm grateful for all those people that filmed the shows that I didn't get to go to and I can watch. Like, yeah. I'm like, right. this is great. Yeah. And, you know, all I care about at that point is that you ain't jumping all around, your camera's all shaky, you got some clean audio. Yeah. yeah. All I'm saying is I don't mind it, but I know right. that people would have a better time Definitely. If, if they did pocket the phone and just be locked in yeah. to the entertainment aspect of it instead of trying to catch it. You know what I mean? Because, yes. like, you're not the only one catching it. It's like no one right. is doing anything special there um, in that, in terms of that. In everybody's individual accounts, it's flexing out mm -hmm. to all their friends and all that. And that's great because it's, it's free promotion for you as the artist. That's all it is. But it's really I mean? that, you know, you're taking that time to do that and you're missing moments while yeah. you're right there posting you are. shit. Um, but hey, to each his. I cannot judge that. Everybody's a fan in their own way. We didn't have this type of technology when we were going to the early Beastie Boys shows, KRS One shows, Rage shows, or whoever shows. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. None of this was available. No, we just went and loved the show and what? remembered it. Yes, and, remembered and talked it, about talked it. Talked about it. Hey, that man, was part did of the you, memory. Were you exactly. there? I was on this side. You remember uh, this? Yeah. We talked about that. You know. So <clears> that's that's the way. I, I I wish that it was all the way around, but you know, like I said, we're in a different age now. And I just want to say this: um, we had um, coyotes for hire down here the other day, right? And uh, salute to my bros. And we talked about doing the song, right? You were you were watching the show, yes, right? I watched it. Were you on the show, or were you? No, uh, I, don't think, I was not. No, you were Ezo, though, right? Yeah, and it was Ezo. No, it was Ezo. 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 You were not. Oh, no, so it was me no. and E-Zone. And, yes. And, and uh, was, was it Les? Doobie? Oh, Les. Doobie. Les. Oh, Doobie. I don't Doobie. think Les was in that day. It might have been Doobie. I'm not sure. Yeah, I wasn't here. My mind is foggy right now because ah. I smoked out. I was driving home from San Diego in the rain listening. They sent me a dope song because we talked about, you know, like how artists do. Hey, man, we got to get a song. Bring it. And they sent me a good one. Oh, so they were I sick. Did. They were very clear about all the collabs they've done that they sit there and they filter through a ton and then just get down to like, all right, here's the one. Yeah. And uh, they sent me a good one. And I just popped off on that today. Me and uh, the Dominator put some work in, in the studio earlier. Or you already yeah. laid it down already? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you must hear this. Oh, I will. After the show, for sure. It's I'm sorry thin. you don't get to hear it. But like you will it. soon. Yeah, soon enough. Yeah, it's pretty sick. Yeah, you know, because they, they dropped some bars on it. Yeah. You know, and I was like, yeah. Because, I mean, I already knew their work. They're dope. But I didn't know what to expect. You never know what to expect because someone's idea might be different than you right. might expect. You you hear their shit, and you're like, okay, they're going to come this way. And then all of a sudden, it's some other fucking direction. But um, they hit me with a good one, man. Oh, they were very clear that you guys were very foundational in their existence. Huge. Yeah, and I, I could I could hear it not necessarily in the style, but just in the attitude and how they rock. Mm -hmm. They got their own style, and it's dope. Like, and I fucks with them because it's it's 
what it is is they got bars, but they're also not afraid to be funny. Yeah, they, I like they put on the show listening to them. I like they were, they were be- fun to watch. Because yeah. this is what happens, right? And this happened to me. I could tell you firsthand, you know, on, on the first and second album, there's hard shit, but there's dark humor there. Right, so it's, it's hard, but it you know make you laugh hearing like hearing M that. used to do. Yes, like, like M yeah, did on exactly. his first yep. album. Right, we all love dark humor here. Yep. Now, oh, absolutely. Now, now, as as it's been stated on this show many a times, um, on that third album, I was an angry person, so I spit bars, and there was a whole lot of anger behind them, and you know, in most of the songs, but very little of the the humor was there okay i lost that humor edge in that record because i was so mad at the world and probably mad at myself too and the rest right dope album temple of boom but very dark and and not so much humor on it as the previous album um i eventually get back there but it took me a minute um these guys have that humor and it's dope bars that they're dropping man so like i could relate to it off the top yeah. It's going to be a good one. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. And salute to them for inviting me on the track, man. Yeah, it's a dope track. Today is National Kansas Day, whatever the fuck that means, man. What, what do you mean? Really? What? Kansas, Kansas. It's Kansas? the day of Kansas. Wait, so... It, is it the band? National the Day of a City? Oh, or is it the band? It's George yeah, Brett yeah, Day, everybody. Yeah. It's George Brett Pine Tar. <laughs> Oh my God! It's pine tar, my. Oh my God! No, the oh my, uh, my God. today recognizes the sunflower state. Oh, oh! Does California or New York get a day or something? Do we get our days? God, do I can we get some days? Why no. Kansas? Can we get a fucking day? I, fucking Toto. We're not. Yeah, we're not in Kansas anymore, Blaze. National <laughs> California Day was February twenty second. There you go. Okay, so we do have. Hey, yeah, Bolton, click you. your heels three times. You go back <laughs> to bed. That's a hold out. Um, Best did. <laughs> <laughs> he's that just did. But you don't got the ruby red slippers on, on yo. No. He's like, yes, I do. <laughs> he's just like, no, oh, that'd be wow. That would be wow. That would be wow. <laughs> um, it's also National Everything You Think Is Wrong Day. That's complicated. Oh, Very. Say again. Yeah, one more it's time. It's National Everything You Think Is Wrong Day. Taking I get it. 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 Okay. Taking it out of This is National <laughs> Complain Day. Is that what it is? No, everything oh, wow. you know is wrong, which it's is a, like... It's a day where decision-making should be avoided. Oh, <laughs> I like okay. that. Why? Is there like right. some sort of uh, magnetic pull to bad choices at this time of year? <laughs> I mean... Or on this day? Is it like... Yes. This is a day, bad day to make choices yes. for, the, for the entire do country. Yeah. <laughs> because the stars <laughs> and the energy on the planet are not in alignment. The Mercury the day, is retrograde. The, the, the <laughs> day of bad decisions. This is there the is day. A, yeah, there is a solar eclipse approaching next month. You know what? That's right. Because, you know, they're, they're talking about that on the NASA site. And they're supposed to be... A uh, comet visible during the eclipse. Hold on, buddy. We don't have moons and stuff, so how does? Boy, that I'm, I'm glad you brought that up because that's <laughs> right where I was going. Yes, that's, I, where, that's I, where he was going to end up. Yeah, oh, I, I challenge all of you okay. to find the moon, the very object that is supposed to be blocking out the sun. You find it during that, and you will. The man. I think everyone. All right. Find it. Oh, yeah. You will not see up. the moon. The moon will not be there. <laughs> okay. It's blocked by Got the sun. To no? be there. Because remember, let's 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 go based on the facts as we as we know, understand, and we're taught that the moon is uh, like two hundred something thousand miles away. Right. You know, in, orbiting Earth. Right. And then you have the sun, which is said to be ninety three million miles away. It's so far away. It's just the right distance away that the moon and the sun appear to be identical sizes in the sky. Now, with the sun being 93 million miles away, anything between it and us during it being out, being us to see it, it would light up everything in front of it between us and it. But when we'd have a blocked view, how would we see anything in between it? You would only, you would only, you're only said to see the moon as it's blocking the sun. Because that whole time it's approaching that place where it's going to block it and where it goes past it, 
you're not going to see it at all, and you should see it entirely lit up. So what do they do? They shut the the projectors for that Your source of light (coughs) for daylight is right behind it, 93 million miles away. Right. (laughs) They're they're turning the lights out. Yeah, you should see that thing the whole time, but you won't. All right. Okay. Ground control. Um, Science. St. Patrick's Day at... Science! Yeah. He thought we was gonna get Thomas Dolby. Thomas, he said, "Brown, brown." Get Thomas Dolby in this bitch. All right, look, he's got a hit track. It is flat Earth. Yeah, he does. He actually, does. he does. That's not. A, that's not a lie. That's real shit. Um, St. Patrick's Day and C Minus's birthday are in alignment this weekend. Yeah. Mm. Every. Yeah. Are they though? <laughs> <laughs> Man, that's a great question. Uh, They're in retrograde. But yeah, look at that. They do dude. that every year. Yeah. I've been there Crazy. before when they do that, like yeah. on my like on my birthday. That looks pretty, pretty fucking toxic. I'll tell you that. It, right yeah, it, fucks it, the, it doesn't fuck the fish up, which it is doesn't crazy. Look right no, at all. Nobody eating those fish. Well, it's food coloring, right? Yeah, that's all it is. Yeah. That so. thing is just filled yeah. with poop, like from one end <laughs> to another. Fish it's, poop, human poop. All the poops are in that poop water right soup. there. Gross. Poop soup. Everyone's all look at that. Still playing the pee. Yes. <laughs> Look at him just spewing that stuff yeah. in there. Sure Does anybody are. got good running shoes? Yeah. Good. Hey, Bubble, you got good running shoes. You know I can get better running shoes. You need some. How about you, uh, Steph Tone? No. Cali Bleth? No. C minus. Yeah, I just got some new ones. You better go get some running shoes, you guys, because it's the LA Marathon this weekend. We go run 26 miles. Let's do it. What? I'll run. Is that two, what we're I'll doing? I'll run 2.6. <laughs> on my birthday? Oh, Hell no. Nah, we ain't doing that on your birthday. You crazy. You know, oh I, I almost considered doing the bike ride that starts a little earlier. That's that. not bad. We could do that. That yeah, We could I'm do right. that. It, no start, it starts yeah. at like 3 in the morning. Hey, I believe it. Yeah, you, know, you should. Hey, he should ride with us with, with the L.A. Bike Club. You yeah, would yeah, love that ride. ride what about me? What am I fucking chop living? <laughs> well, I didn't know you ride bikes. Yeah, man, I get I, down, you baby. seem like a skateboard guy no to me. No way, never. Like regular size bike, like right? Motorcycles, <laughs> bicycles, <laughs> everything. Yes. I just got me a new oh, bike, like too. That, that, that skateboard with the one wheel in the middle. Nah. That, I kind of nah. see nah. that. I hate that. <laughs> the nah. skateboard with you the one wheel in the middle. He said, no. No, but we should coordinate a ride with them. Like, you know, you would. As I know you rode a long time. It's been a long time, for sure. I just I did just pick myself up a 29-inch mm, monster that's what quad angle. Eight-ton. That's what I'm riding, a 29-inch. Yeah. <laughs> it's fucking light. Eight-ton eight ton driving in 12-inch. Pause. pause. I had noticed yeah. how I added yeah. that pause in there. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I got a 29-inch 20, bike. And I just, so got, I just, I just got a 26 uh, yesterday, too. Nice. Oh, you yeah. bought another one? Yeah, that's going to be like the road bike. Yeah. Oh, we get thrashed around. So I'm going to buy another 29. There's yeah. no way I'm riding a 26 in my... No. I can but you, you, can, you can do the 29. I, well, I have, I'm taller than you. I have to. Right. By the way, at Whole Flowers, after the, we went out to dinner, Kenji, me, and then Kevin met us there. And Kevin ordered a 16-inch. He was like the ribeye. He was like, let me get the ribeye, the 16-inch. Oh, my I, God. I was like, whoa. Whoa. Oh, yeah. We got you, Kevin. You gotta eat. He was I I ripped him. It was eat your meat. He says he's hungry. <laughs> he was hungry, man. Nothing what kind of bike you got, Callie? I don't. That's what I'm about. Whoa. You're gonna get a 29 yeah. inch? No. No, Come he on, needs a 26. Fuck. Come on, man. Give the 29. <laughs> nah, he needs a 26. <laughs> what you want me to have to like go to one side to have to get on it? There's a little I stand out. There's little, kid, there's this little out, kids though. ride 29 and Let me 29s. tell you something what's crazy. When I was younger, like um a 125 or a 250. <clears throat> they were rideable. The 250s and the 450s these days, I'm not even joking. Even people were told to me, I can't get on that bike and sit flat. I got to, like, put the bike to the side, get on, get up, and go. They're, like, they're high as fuck, man. You got to be, like, easy 6'1", 6'2", to sit, like, flat-footed, 100% on those new 450s. They're so tall. My God damn, man. Yeah. Not meant for the, the shorter yeah. person. No way. Yeah. You like to ride at all? You know, yeah, bikes is cool. I like skating. You're more, you're more skateboard. You like yeah, that? I would. I would probably try to skate it more than ride a bike. Is this you, Cali Blaze? Ah! <laughs> nah, bro, not on her. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. That's nice. Cool. Why you try to clown? Strong. Why you try to clown, but, Boulder but, Bob? Yo, though, if that was a 450, oh, hell yeah. Like they are that tall that I wouldn't be able to fucking fit. No way, man. Like oh, look, no. look up like the seat height on like the Honda 450X or 450R, whatever it is. 
they're high as hell, man. Ridiculous. Yeah, you, I'd have to lower it for sure if I wanted to stay sit flat footed. How low can you go? <gasps> yeah. <laughs> That's what it is, man. Yeah. Yeah. What else going on this weekend, man? What you guys got going on? Anybody got any games? Any uh, any soccer? Any, any basketball? Is there an LA? is there no, no, no. Well, LAFC game is going on, but they're away. They're away? Okay. They're away. Away. They're away. Away. You know. What about the Lakers? Anything this weekend? Yeah, they're playing this weekend. Um, are they home? No. Okay. Yeah, yeah, they are actually. What day? Saturday, Sunday? Saturday. Right. Damn home Saturday. They play the Warriors. Okay. You going to the They game? should be able to beat that beat the Warriors. Um I'm not sure. If you do, I'm gonna try for sure. <laughs> I'm coming if you do. All right. <laughs> uh man. What'd you say? Aaron uh Donald <laughs> from the Rams is retiring. After like, like ten seasons, oh, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. Which is like the champion, years. LA Rams champion, mine, Aaron Donald. Remember, he was at the LAFC game and he had a push up contest against um, D Smoke. D Smoke, yeah. That's right. Salute to D Smoke and Aaron Donald. That was crazy. Well, the game's going, people are going nuts on the sideline, and 3252 is going nuts. These dudes are doing a push up contest right there. And Aaron Donald is smoking D Smoke, but D Smoke is going, but going, it's just you're going against what that is. A goddamn yeah. superhero right here. You know yeah, but D Smoke's kind of light too. You figured he'd be able to bang him out more, but nah. That'd well, he's in shape to like hang for a minute, but like you know, as he starts to slow down, Aaron Donald's looking at him like smiling and just yeah. rot, rot, rot. When you watch the combines, it's like holy crap! Like these the the things they do. I think a dude broke a record this year. For the bench, they do 225. I forgot how many mm. hit. I think he did 50 or something like that in, in like a minute or something like that. Yeah, ridiculous. And then you'll see these the linebackers and linemen running four fours and they were like 300 pounds. It's like, yeah, how are you moving that quick, man? Got Crazy. Is this what you're talking about with the push up contest? Yeah. That was yeah. it. That was it. Like they were even for a minute, but then a minute passed and D started to slow down. And Aaron just, you know, he's like the. Energizer yeah. Rabbit just kept going, 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 going. Are you sure you want to do this? Look at, look at, see? With see? no effort. They're out of rhythm now. Yeah. They're out of rhythm down because D Smoke is, was slowing down. Yeah. Where Aaron Donald was just like. He kept on. He kept going. going rhythm. He's going. Yeah. Did yeah. I do this, man? I do. And I keep doing this. I keep on. Yeah, that was that was it. Once he stopped like, right I'm there, there was no way he was getting and back up. And he's not even slowing down. He went to the knees one too. He went to the knees on that shit. Yeah, to the knees. Like, nah. Yeah. Hey, I commend him for hanging that long. Yeah, man. Kudos. I mean, he had to stop him. See, he just kept going. He was like, man, I'll get this workout on, man. And I'll do this, man. This is light work. That was that was dope that he did that. Because, you know, he was willing to have fun and just bullshit, you know what I'm saying? And, and be in the moment down there and, like, have fun, like, real human being shit. Mm. Instead of, like, how some guys are where they're, like, uptight and they ain't be trying gangsta to. instead of having fun. Yeah. 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 Not good. He let it all hang out, man. Hey, much love to Aaron Donald. Hopefully we can get him off on the show now that he's retired and he's got time to kick it. We're going nice. to we're gonna have to reach out to the campeon. Bring it. Nice. No, nice. Get high. I would imagine he could. I mean, he get high freely now. Yeah, retiring. I, I would. I, I, I could see him smoking some weed. He just ain't gonna do it like while he's playing because there's a lot of kids that watch what he's doing. You know what I'm saying? But like now that he's retired, they all smoking weed while they watching him do his thing. Mm -hmm. That's like some of them. Yes, true. That ain't wrong. I agree. But it's cool. He's gonna get to you know have fun, live life, not worry about and, the and pressures in, of the ring. In ten ten years, that's that's pretty good, right? As far as a career, ten years football. is really good. In football, that's and he got a ring, bro. Yeah, it's a lot of years. And he got a ring. And what people play longer than that and never get a ring. True that. What's the average age of like from the beginning of football, like professional football, till the end? They're like. Well, what I'm reading right now is the average NFL career is about 3.3 years. Oh. Because of injuries. I mean, 
Yeah, I'm sure. So, and it's harsh, dude. Like, you know, you're getting beat up by your teammates and other teams to make the sport. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, I mean, damn. So if you make it into like pro- pro- professional football, like, what's the average age people retire? Is it 32, 35? Because you don't really ever hear about 40 year old football players. Yeah, the only like Tom Brady and those dudes and what's it, Roethlisberger and them, they played in their 40s. That was crazy. Yeah, I mean, but Tom he was in high contact, this, right? It's Tom, he was a quarterback. He was getting oh, so yeah, he was time. getting sacked. According right. to many articles, it's yeah. about 27, 28 years old. Sounds right. Damn. Yeah, sounds right. Good, damn, that's, so that's the end. Yeah. Bro, their bodies take a beating and now you got to uh, be in, son. In the last like 10 years, they've added two more games. I believe it used to be 14 games. And then it was 16, and yeah, right, Whoa. yeah, yeah, 14 and six. So that added two more games plus playoffs, and the bodies take a beating, bro, like big time. What sport has the longest, um, uh, probably longevity? baseball? Baseball is not as player. hard on your body. Golf, you could play till you're seven. Golf, yeah, yeah. that's actually a real, golf, yeah. If you, you if play. you watch a shit, you could play golf for a while. Jack Nicholas was old and winning championships, so stock yeah. car racing, yeah. NASCAR drivers ain't gonna very. Very few gonna go out to when they're really old. You mean oh so really? They're gonna stop or they're gonna keep going? No, like you're like if you're in your forties as a racer, you're you're on the on you're the real old. high side. Yes, yeah, 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 definitely. Damn, you're right. Yeah, on the forties, that's super. Most old. of them are all start their teens into their early twenties. Yep, you got a real. And you're at the end at forty. The yeah, amount of, the amount of endurance that you need to but, like stay focused and in with the, under those amount of Gs for that but long. I'll, yeah. But I'll tell you what, the new forty is different. Yeah, like it the really new is. fifty is different. Like the guys that were fifty, you know, like that, like our parents, they didn't have yeah. all the shit that that we have now to take care of yourself, whether you're working out or the diet or yeah. any of that shit. Even the technology to, to help you keep all that in perspective, right? Um, we have it. And a lot of us use it. And a lot of us that are in that age group now, we could do more than the folks before us at our age. Mm. They were more like 60. Mm. Yep. And our 50 is more like 40. We were just talking about that at time. Yeah. 50, you still feel like you're 30. Even if you're 50, you still feel young. Yeah. You some know, old bastard on the, the, the TV yesterday said 80 is the new 60. <laughs> And I don't blame I'll him. Agree. He probably still feels that way, you know. Like, yeah. so that means I'm 30 again, That's man. Right. Hell yeah, let's yeah. go. <laughs> there you go. Hell yeah. <laughs> See? Or something like that. I mean, it's how you take care of yourself, how you live your life. You know. What yeah. I mean? Yeah. You 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 go hard in the paint. You go too hard in the paint, and you will get stuck. And there it is. But uh, yeah. You know, we we can last as a as human beings. Our bodies can last. If we Hell yeah. Yeah, if you take care of yourself. Uh, yeah. I mean, yeah, it's a trip. You know, you can't beat yourself up all the time. Nah, every that's deep. Man. But you can't beat yourself up every night, man. You just can't do it. Like, no. stay up late, get up early. or Drinking, heavy drinking. Drink, heavy Ooh. drinking. That really is. Liquor, you. whatever you don't, whatever kind of liquor, whether it's beers or, or hard shit or whatever. And then... The hard fucking drugs. Cigarettes, alcohol, they those two mm-hmm. things really do age you. They're All really these. Yeah. yeah. Weed, not so much. Mushrooms, not so much. But if you abuse mushrooms, I don't think yeah, it's a, I don't think so. I don't think it would mess up your like the, I don't think it would I know it's someone know. who did. Yeah. But, it it yeah. can. Yeah. It can. Cause you know, everybody has a different reaction. Some can take things a little bit more than others, and some can't take shit at all. There. You know, but you got to know this. Yep. Some people just got the super, you know, Herman strength. (laughs) That Herman strength. Hey, Bolton. What up? Are you going to see uh, Taylor Swift's movie tonight? Uh, Yeah, I might actually check that out. Wow. The uh, Taylor Swift's uh, Heiress Tour, Taylor's version. Yeah. Hell yeah. That's going to be a party. (laughs) All right. Well, you want to watch it with me? No. Do a little Discord movie watch? Well, no. I was going to say, I I could come over to your place. We can make some popcorn, smoke a little weed. I was going to say, yeah, you can get the spaghetti out. Don't make yourself cozy in my place. I'm not (laughs) send-off. I don't have this man cave you imagine. Oh, come on. you got to have a man cave. (laughs) My man cave... You're in it right yeah, now. We're in it. Oh, whoa. Aton's been trying to get into man caves for a long time. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. He's not here to defend himself. Yeah. Uh, I'm I was going to say, um, if we get it. Uh, my wife and daughter are probably watching this oh, movie right man. now. Oh, that. I thought you meant this. So the movie. Come on. 
<laughs> oh, yeah, the Taylor Swift, the Eras, right? She didn't pay me for this neither, so I'm just saying that's probably what wifey and daughter are doing today, and apparently so is Bolton. Yeah, I was going to say, Make- if we get a 1,000 likes, we could have a little watch party at B-Reels. Oh, oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh my no, God. I, you are over-promising. I'll be promise. Sens, now it's your house. Now it's Sen, dog, now it's you. I want to I wanna be a fly on the wall and see that expression when you open up the door. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, we came to watch the... Oh really? <laughs> As a team, what where, where are you gonna watch party? This it's at the theaters. <laughs> it's streaming on Disney Plus. No, it's stream- it? Yeah, it's streaming on Disney. Disney oh, Plus. Well, I'm canceling Disney tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Before Bolton gets there with his little army of Swifties. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Ah, uh, Disney Plus is out in the whole neighborhood. Is it? <laughs> yeah, she's probably like breaking the damn internet today with that shit. Um, if you haven't smashed that like, please do it. Share the show out. Let people know what's popping for this Friday evening that we are broadcasting the show a little bit later, 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 8 Eastern. And we, uh, you know, salute. We want to send a salute to everybody joining us right now because we know it's a little bit off time for, for the regulars who normally see this at 2 p.m. But we decided that we were going to push it back to 5. So you let us know how you're enjoying this new um time and uh you know we will adjust in all these things all right um we got a mixed show after this show javi lopez c minus psycho less and myself gonna be on the turntables be real tv2 on youtube twitch if uh you know you got the twitch account be underscore real tv is the place and the home site if you're a full member you could watch both this show and the mix show on www.bereal.tv and make sure you check out the merch because we got some cool shit popping. After the mix show is going to be Taylor Swift. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we, uh, yeah, that's the watch party. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We're um, open. Hey, Bo, uh, um, Dom, we have a box to give away. Yeah. Uh, so look, we're gonna <laughs> give away this box. I don't know how we're gonna give it away, but just hashtag um, be real TV in the super chat to uh for a chance to win this funk box uh it's gonna be a surprise we're not gonna tell you what's in it what's but in it i don't know <laughs> i don't know bobo i know what contents i know what the fuck is in it don't ask me i, I don't know <laughs> some stuff and some things yeah some stuff Bang. and shit you know what i'm saying ah, yeah. um I don't know if we have footage on this because it must be interesting if they do. A pizza oven exploded in Texas. No way. Up in Texas, pizza oven exploded. They was making meth in the pizza oven. Just making Ooh. meth. It's been a gas. Oh, here it here. goes. Yep, that's a gas one, probably. Uh, yeah, the, probably the 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 burner. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, baby, light my fire. That Come on, baby, like Bob. Dude, wow. You can oh. see yeah. his nipples fly off. That burned his nipples right off. Tick, bo- That's Rayton. not pepperoni on the counter. Those are his two nipples. Oh. Ray's asking, why is he wearing flip flops in the <laughs> that, kitchen? That's what I was going to say. Yeah, ah. who, what kind of boss is that? Flame on. Allows you to wear flip flops in the kitchen. Look at what he's doing, man. Oh, <laughs> blew his shirt off. Look at that. Hey, man. Yeah. Blew his fucking shirt off. Did you yeah. see that? No, he took yeah. it off. Oh, he took it off. He, he thought he was on fire? Yeah. yeah. He thought it was burning. Well, that was hot. <laughs> Ricky Bobby on fire. It was Man. coming in hot. They like it hot, hot, hot. <laughs> That's the world on fire. I'm feeling hot, hot, hot. Oh, my God. How you feeling? Now he thinks he's on fire. He pulls his shirt off. <laughs> How, you and, How you feeling? And uh, <laughs> And this is a shout out to the dumbass of the day. Uh, no, i All right. That's like, that's like, uh, you know, heating up some oil and putting some french fries in them or something French like that and not have a shirt on? Yeah. Were you ever young? You ever blow up your barbecue because you forgot to open the lid? You ever do that one? Yeah. Like you turned the gas on, didn't open the top, but did it one time, hit the thing, boom, blew the lid <laughs> off, took my eyebrows, eyelashes. I'm serious. I had nothing wow. left. Mm. I was scorched. How bad was your parents yelling at you for oh, that shit right man. there? Yeah, my, but actually my mother was like, you never told him? Like, yeah, because he told me, go turn the grill on. You didn't tell me how to open the top first, so oops, the hard way, but never again. Always made sure it's open. Literally burned every hair on my face. Hey, all you gotta do is learn one top. That's it. Especially <laughs> like that, man. I thought I was dying. That was crazy. You <laughs> learned your lesson real quick. Fireball. Scared the shit out of Kelly Blake. Man, he found Big out. Big time. Hmm. <laughs> 
Anything we need to know? Uh, I don't know what we need to know. Uh, <laughs> we let's need to know. <laughs> Man, to let oh, me know. Oh, I see what you're saying. Did you know? Did you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> On this day in 1940, bassist and founding member of the Grateful Dead, Phil Lesh was born. Yeah. Happy birthday, Phil. Cool dude. Foolish. Met him many times up in the Bay Area at uh, you know some shows that we've done uh, for Lollapalooza, Smoke and Grooves, and others um, up at uh, the Shoreline Amphitheater. You know these guys would come down, say hello. Phil Lesh was one of them. He's dope. Word up. Did you know? Mm-mm. Today is the birthday of the legendary Sly Stone. Yeah. Born in 1943. Uh- Oh, gee. Thank you for letting me be myself. Making a biopic. Oh, yeah. Who, who, who's Quest playing it, right? I don't know who's playing him, but uh, Quest Love is behind it. Okay. That yeah. should be good. Yeah. It will. should be really good. How big influence was Sly Stone on Andre 3000, you think? I think he was a big influence. I mean, I feel like I'm looking at a, a young Andre 3000 right there. Well, definitely in the, the fashion that's for sure you know you can see an influence because that's definitely the look at the end of Simon jackson in that video he's close yeah, yeah. when the sun came out after it rained he, yeah he's, he's, he's not far away from it that's he for sure your daughter <laughs> Where are that's the sun thing going on. Love. damn we sounded drunk right there mm-hmm. did you know <laughs> it is also the birthday of the legendary hall of famer d snyder of twisted sister what's up d born what up, in 1955. D? what up d hell yeah that's my uh that's hey, my pisces d. bro my, my brother still be putting it down on stage we're not gonna take it. Yeah, he could still sing. You can't like, don't let his rock and roll. Don't let I his old rock. Don't let his old ass fool you. Yeah, no, he he he's up there tearing it up still. Word. Did you know? On this day in 1956, John Mr. Magic Rivas was born. Happy birthday, Mr. Magic, legendary oh, hip hop icon. Oh gee. Oh, yeah. If you're ever out digging for some vinyl and you come across these uh, Mr. Magic's Rap Attack vinyls, records, don't ever say vinyls, uh, so records, they're double vinyl sets, and uh, they're usually on profile records, but it gives you a taste of what you would hear on the Mr. Magic Rap Attack. Word. What the hell you mean? Don't quote what, don't say vinyl. What vinyls. Mean? Oh, vinyls. Yeah. The you bowl. say vinyl. Yeah, yeah oh. vinyl. I didn't, I didn't hear the S. Yeah. I gotcha. Yeah. yeah. Like, You're about to get mad right now. This is yeah, well, <laughs> so, Screw you, God damn it. God damn it. God damn it! Did you know? <laughs> it is also the birthday of one Brett Michaels of Poison. Born, born Poison. in 1963. What was, it? what was his uh, show? Flavor of Love. No, flavor no, of that's Love. Flavor. No, that's Rock Love. Of love. Rock, Rock of Love. Rock yeah. of Love. There you go. Flavor, flavor. He didn't have no flavor. No. no. Yeah. Hey, Bolton, why does this look like you right here on the ah, top? Hell <laughs> yeah. He's hell a, yeah. I would, I would hey, love hey, to be hey, on hey, that show. So Rock. Bolton could go get a little... Um, you know, like like what Brett's rocking that yeah. little wig with the bandana. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's just yeah, rocking on baby. top. You could be him for um, Halloween too. So yeah, you got man. Colton Cobain and uh, Colton Michaels. I was gonna there say we go. should even start Be Real TV. Bolton of Love. Bolton uh-huh. of Love. That that would be a great show. Uh, he said Colt Michaels. <laughs> He'd be getting turned out from every chick. Uh-huh. Be falling in love with uh-huh. all of them. You know, can't, I can't pick one, guys. <laughs> I'm in be, love with all of them. I don't want to break any hearts here. <laughs> yeah. right. Do you play beer darts? <laughs> <laughs> Did you know today is also the Coors Light King birthday? Mark McGrath. Yeah. Born in 1968. Happy birthday, Mark. Super cool, dude. Sugar Ray. <laughs> Azúcar Ramon. Yeah, he, he is funny. Ramon Azúcar. He is funny. Yeah, man. yeah, he is yeah. funny. Hilarious. Oh, yeah. Did you know? It is also the birthday of Mark Hoppus. Oh. Yeah. Of oh, well, Blink yeah. Van 82. Yeah, what up, Mark? Born in 1972. Hell yeah. On this day. Blink said, who? Who? Who is that? <laughs> <laughs> then I looked on the picture in the right. looks like Norm MacDonald with the black shirt for a second. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, like he looks Norm. Norm. He looks <laughs> like he could. You, he Mark. looks like he could host a show for Fox. Definitely. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, the rock show. 
Did you know it is also also the birthday of Will I Am? Yeah. yeah. My G. Born on this day in 1975. Yep. And did you know it is also the birthday of Joe Hahn, DJ for Lake and Park? Yeah, yeah. Joe. Oh, Joe, happy birthday. He was oh. born in 1977. Yeah. What up, Joe? Oh. On this day, we taught this, this we cut we taught this man how to party. Did you? We taught him how to party. Is yeah. that not a fact, Bobo? Yeah. We taught these boys how to party. On he tour? Was, he was yeah. coming around. <laughs> and, you know, we weren't the headliners, but our parties were. Headline worthy. <laughs> Did you know? On well, this day in 1999, Bruce Springsteen got inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. The boss. The boss. Yeah. The boss. The Jersey boss. Yeah. Yes. Still going strong. Yes. You go to see the boss, and you're looking at a two-hour show, guys. What's Three. he worth, period? Three. Three hours. Three, Three hours. hours. So down. it's like an hour and a half, then a, um, a, you know, <coughs> one of those um, breaks, right? What do they call it? Um, intermission. Intermission. Yes. Uh, after that, another hour and a half. You're in for a ride. So how old is he? Uh, he's seventy something, right? And gotta be. He's got to be He'll one do of the rich, Barry. Right, Barry. How old is Bruce? Wise, right, seventy four. Okay, seventy four. How how 74. much is he worth, bro? I keep seeing reports from five hundred to six hundred fifty million. Oh, I had a lot. I figured he was actually closer to a bill for some reason. Well, he just sold. I think he just sold his work, right? Oh, okay. I think he just sold like his catalog and stuff. Still shit talking. He got so much catalog. He probably could have sold half yeah, of it and still got like catalog. Yeah, you know, catalog. Crazy. Did you know? On this day. Night in 2011, we lost the legendary Nate Dogg. Rest ah, in peace. Damn. Rest in peace. To one of the West Coast greats and hip hop. For sure. You know what I know. And now let's get into this. What's up, guys? It's Kelvin from Dr. Green Thumb, West LA. We're here located at 12235 Bullshit Boulevard, just about 15 minutes away from Santa Monica Pier. Uh, we do have some daily deals going on always. We also have 20% off for your first time. So if you guys are in the area, come check it out. Come, see, come say hi to us, all right? Back to you guys at the studio. And now we rock it to submissions. Are you submitting now? All right, big shout to Snacks. He's up here just chilling. Yeah, man. He's gangstered up. Damn. He's are, you, are you all right? Are you all right? <laughs> Are you, are you all right? Yeah, right. Snacks, you all right? How you doing? Look at him. Clap one wing if you all right. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> what are you doing, man? Yeah. Are you cold? G'd up. Dude. I said it's cold up here, B. I'm too fly to be cold. All right, first one of the day here. We got Mikey saying I'm high as a kite, grubbing on some meat, sauce, and shells. Mm. Grubbing oh. on meat. <laughs> meat sauce Man. and shells. No, the thing is that meat. the way he said he said meat, meat yeah, the sauce way he said, and you know, shells. Yeah. yeah. It was a meat sauce and shells. Yeah. Meat sauce and shells, yeah. Yeah. He done separated everything. Yeah, he's done separated the whole <laughs> shit. Hello. Would you guys oh, pass or not on this? I would do it. Yeah. I would do it. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yep. Definitely do that. We all grew up on that. Just give me the sauce and shells. <laughs> Get out of here. We got Rachel up in here saying you guys like Panda Express. No. You used to yeah. be way better. Disgusting. Orange chicken still hits. It's lost Bef it's lost its luster to me. Yeah. That's Fried like on some fast food shit, but like, New York City got better Chinese food than China. That chow man ain't even got no more flavor. It got no flavor to it now. <laughs> it is, bro. Seriously, New York Chinese what? food just hits different. It's so good, man. And you can go to like almost any spot and it's good. Oh, I, yeah. So good, man. Dude, I want to go to New York and get a food tour with you, bro. Let's go, man. I'm ready. 
I'm ready to get fat again. I, I, I already know. lost oh, 25 boy. pounds. I want to put it back on. Good for you. <laughs> That's good, man. Yeah, I want to hey, put it's back. fun to put it back on. <laughs> put that shit back on, yeah. man. <laughs> People doing winter. Yeah, that's yeah, what right. I did. Exactly. Yeah. Now it's got to go for the that's, summer. Now it's got to go for the summer. Done. Uh, next up in here, let's see. We got Fabian saying drawing done with the big pen. Nice. That's tight. Spider Man. You are caught at the web. That's pretty dope. That's super oh. sick. It's overlapped there. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I like that. Nice shading. Nice work. Oh, yeah. Done by the hand. Oh, Let's see. So Next up in here, we got a. Oh, we got Kato Cut. He's asking, "What's the rating be?" A Kato. Wow, it hasn't been a rating in a minute. I don't know where the neck is. Where's the neck? Right side. Right side. Huh? Yeah. An aristocrat. <laughs> um, that mm. looks pretty damn good. Decent line. Just that shadow up on top makes it looks like it got a little uh -uh right there, like up on that top left. Okay. Yeah. Right there. Yeah. You got it. Can you zoom into that? Okay, yeah, there is a little dinger there. Looks a little wet, right? Is Something. There something in there, maybe? Like, uh, maybe a asshole? I don't know. I didn't know you like to get wet. Could get points for that. On that bit? Yeah. No. Oh, okay. It's on the right yeah, side. Yeah. Yep. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no tip. Is. Tipless. Tip. I'll tell you what, for not having a tip, that's pretty straight. Probably take a right. rolled. Yeah, that's how the roller. Yep. Yeah, right. You think roller. that's the roller? Yeah. yeah. The way it twisted the paper too. It yeah. Twists it when you yeah. do that. Oh, uh, or if it's with a roller, then that's disqualified. Uh, survey set. I believe that's a roller. Is that right? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. He never specified. He just asked for a rating on that one. Yeah. We got Alejandro up in here saying, "Forgot to pull up the stuff from last weekend's madness. I started my day off with a little joint." He's asking Ooh. for a rating. Nice. Looks good, though. To the neck. Smooth. Pretty damn smooth. All right, go to the right. right. Start scrolling to the right. Like, you're used to that bolted. I was going to say right here. We got a little. No, no. That's, no, that's, that's just a that's little hole. Yeah. yeah that's, that weed? that's a little weed, weed that got through. That's, okay. not, that's not that bad. Line seems to be pretty straight. It starts flaring up, and there's a little squeeze on the bottom there, like a little shark bite in here. Like you got nipped at. Still a nice piece. And then there's like a little a, a little hike on the top end. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If you want to, you know, go burn some calories on a hike, there's that. <laughs> got that ink line? Yeah, it's got that little <laughs> ink. <laughs> I'm gonna give that a six. You Damn. Got ink line. But you know, you keep on, and that's easily an eight or nine. Bring Just got to clean up the little, you know, little less squeeze, you know what I mean? Because you had it pretty straight, but, like, you squeezed right there at the end, and that's what Sweet. caused that dip and, uh, you know, the incline. As far as squeezes go, that's pretty good-looking joint. It, it is. is. It is. It really is. A nice one. Excellent. And, and just enough for, you know, you just need a quick little blast. You, you, you're going to maintain its flavor all the way to the end. It's a short a, fatty. Right, yeah. I'll use the longer paper to make it, it a little It's a short fatty, though. You know, it's a quick, like yep. like Steph said, a quick blast, but yeah, a heavy walker. Yeah. Smoke. He's also saying after the joint went out to Monster Jam. Yeah. Oh, that's I, sick. We should have done that. That shit's fun, man. That's it's hard, great. yeah. Now look at that thing. That thing looks... And they do crazy-ass shit now, bro. Yeah, the jumps yeah, they do yeah, are nuts. Back flips and all sorts of crazy shit. Like bro. mega Gymnastics. mega flips. Yes. Yeah. They these guys rails, are bro. some of like rails 40, now. 50 yep. feet up. Yeah, they'd be riding they rails. rails. Yeah, Crazy. these guys are some of the best drivers in the world sure. right here. All right. And then he's saying after the uh, after Monster Jam, we smoked a little tri tip. Mm. Hey. Yeah, nice. Put it in a smoker. Nice. Uh -huh. A little more smoker. sear on the outside. I don't really I like do tri tip inside. anymore. More sear and less less uh, well done. Yeah, you mean a little more bloody and seared on the outside? Mm -hmm. Not a boy. Yes. Yeah, don't be afraid to blacken the outside, practically. Yep. Oh, definitely. That's where that good crust is. People think, oh, it's burnt. No, that ain't burnt. That's perfect. Especially if it's right in the middle. We got a chef from the UK on the Be Real TV's member page. He's saying he's this old. Do you guys remember? Ah, yes. Right. I do. Sure. I'm this 100%. old. Those were great. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> There's still places to have those. You know, um, I would say in Europe somewhere. Oh, sure. Oh, definitely. 
a lot of the countries but are so small. As a kid, I remember seeing those yeah. all the time. And you can still see those in Amsterdam. Shoot. Yeah. Those type of ashtrays. Mm-hmm. We got a Antatomic. He's showing off a little Happy St. Patrick's Day design for hey. Cypress Hill. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Let's see what you did with the clover. Well done. Hell yeah, Ant. Dope. So, so uh, yeah. St. Patrick's Day is coming up. That's this weekend. Oh, yeah. Right. You going to party hard or what, Bobo? Drink some green beer? You going to... Jump no, up. I want to smoke some green weed. Is it, yeah, that's the one right there. We got Antatomic again saying, what up to everyone at the table? Here are a few more Star Wars band mashups. Oh, As you can see, I'm a big Star Wars fan like C-. minus. Hell yeah. That's cool. That's right, Ant. What is that, a Bedouin? It's a sand, uh, sand person. What, weren't they called Bedouins? No, no, they were... Um... Oh no, those that's were real yeah. life. Yeah, Bedouins are real life. No, but right. that's they, sand, they did oh, use that in that. Star Wars, yeah. But I don't I can't remember what they did. Were they the Tuscan Raiders? Tuscan, Tuscan Raiders. Raiders, there you go. Yep. That could be a football team, son. I mean it sounds like one. Hockey team. The Tuxan Raiders. Tuscan. <laughs> Tuxan. 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 <laughs> oh, the Ton the Death Tons. <laughs> oh, all right. That's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> is this still called Around the Fur? Or yep. is, okay. Yeah, I like that. Or Hoff Pony. They were on. Was it that the name of the planet Hoff or whatever? Uh, when they were on that uh, the the planet that was like cold. Yeah. That was Hoff. Yeah. Yeah, would, Hoff. There you do, go. Would you laugh at that uh, submission if that was to be like a Deftones uh, cover? No, it doesn't bother. No. I, I think that looks cool. <laughs> yeah. All right. Hell yeah. <laughs> no. Ah, nice. Instead of the Smiths. The Smiths. All right. right. That's good. Nice. Right. Yeah. Cool. White Tawny. White Tawny. <laughs> All right, I see. Ice 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 Tube. <laughs> Ah, that's, that's good. Really Hell good. yeah. That's really good. <laughs> Ta -da. It's going to make Bobo cry Listening right now. Listening to anybody in an attempt at Chewbacca will make me laugh anytime. <laughs> anytime somebody try. Yeah, it's always hilarious. <laughs> that's hilarious. All right. We got Twackalack again showing off some more art from a sketchbook. Dope. Which means he actually drew it? Yep. Yes. Cool. Okay. You get more Twack credit. Lack does not do AI art. Okay. 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 Yeah. Ink. Or ink. We got tequila up in here saying, first day back in the gym, and here's my playlist. All right. Mickey Avalon, huh? Interesting. Hey, unit. Okay. You got a playlist? Do I got a playlist? Like, uh, like a Do I got a playlist? No, I'm watching. Really I'm watching that? stank ass stand mad <laughs> while I'm running, dog. You watching Channel Five? That pumps me up more than anything, dog. Stank Just make, making me mad. That's like when Rocky puts up the picture of, yep. you know, uh, Apollo on the mirror right there. <laughs> They're my Apollo. I'm like on the gym wishing. <laughs> and should bomb bomb their the office with water balloons. Why would we do that? Thank Go to jail, son. Yeah. Don't even it's say illegal. things like that. We love them, but we don't love them. Because <laughs> you watch them, too. I do watch them. Over here talking right. about, like, hitting watch. them with water balloons I and do shit. Watch, you know, Sam Sam might like that. He probably needs it. Yeah. All right, next. <laughs> we got a Purple Haze hash oil. He's saying, on vacation, so smoking, what's available? And he's saying, uh, showing this off. He's saying my friend has a pound of oil, so I'm rolling more oh, oil okay. than herb. Mm, there so you put go. like some sauce crystals, it looks like. Have some sauce. Right. Yeah, it looks like, like sauce, like THCA with a little turp sauce. Hey, man, if you're away, you're doing all right. <laughs> mm. Depends on where you are. The weed actually don't look that bad. Yeah, no. No, and then you put a little bit of sugar on it, so. A little bit of Yeah. Yeah. Wonder where you are. Before you are, that weed looks good, bro. Yeah. He's getting awesome. high. Yep. He is. He will. That is a fact. <sighs> And uh, let's see, next up in here, we got 81X showing off. Once you see the cookie monster, you can't unsee it. <laughs> <laughs> On the head. Oh, shit. 
How is that oh, not wow. the Pokemon Monster? <laughs> you were right. Oh, shit. You cannot see that. No, you can't yeah. see it. Did you see the meme with the Chicago Bulls one? With the upside yeah. down Chicago Bulls? <laughs> Pretty good. It's a good one. I was going to just kind of try to look that one up. What are look you talking about? The Chicago Bulls yeah, just upside put, down? Just put in Chicago Bulls emblem upside down, and it looks like uh, an alien like raping a crab. It's ridiculous. Oh, my God. No, what, wait till you see it. It's gonna, you, you can't unsee it. Ridiculous. <laughs> look. <Yeah. laughs> it's upside down. Looks like a Getting oh, like shit. spreading it open. Oh. Look at that. See? It really <laughs> does. Once you see it, you can't unsee it, man. Oh, that's, that's crazy. crazy. <laughs> an alien violating a crab. That's how you get crab. <laughs> Do you like it? Kind of looks like Marshmallow DJ. Yeah, right? <laughs> uh, good. Nah, it's funny. Spread them. <laughs> wow. And next up in here, we got Smokestack Mac, and he's saying it's a sad day when you're down to your last five green thumb papers. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. right now. I hate when you see those reminders. I'm like, damn it. The yep. blue sheet or whatever. God like, this one says five. Which Some of those better at five. Like, I think elements in the other are two, and I'm like, you got to warn me before two. Because two is, like, gone in a second. Right. Five is a good time to remind someone. Some of those might be in one of these boxes we're giving away Ooh. tonight. Okay. I hate when when the humidity changes and then your the glue side just rolls right up. So oh, like, I hate uh, that. Yeah. That is the worst. Papers just yep. done. They're done. They all stick done together. Though. Yeah. Yeah, and you wonder how that happens. You know what I mean? But it's like you said. Probably humidity or something. There's something. Because then they curl up. They don't start this way, but they curl up yeah. somehow. Just, hate that shit. There's at least three papers every pack that you just never get to use. Yep. Yeah, because you find yourself having to straighten out the paper to be able to, like, get it right. All right. Next up in here, let's see. We got Jux, and Jux is saying, don't show up smelling like weed. Me showing up to the party. <laughs> smelling like weed. That was Mr. Burns when he was radioactive right there. Oh, really? Yep. From Simpsons? That's from the Simpsons. Okay. That's when he was radioactive. That's tight. Yep. Go, Mr. Burns. <laughs> I feel like us as weed smokers, like we can't smell the weed on us at all. No, not at we all. Can't. They Never. do. <laughs> yeah, it's like cigarette smokers. Sometimes they can't smell it. You know, everybody else can. <laughs> the only weed you can smell is a weed that's not yours. Right. Because you're not smoking it, and you're like, yeah. "Why? What is that?" If it's a different flavor than what you're smoking, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Totally yeah. yeah, you could smell that. We got ant up in here with a little Cypress Hill AI. That looks cool. Mm. Looks like we created our own Disneyland or something. Come inside Weedland by Cypress Hill. Awesome. Nice. That's Smoke. tight. It's crazy. Showing off a little elephants on acid. What is he shitting out acid? Yeah, in his <laughs> stomach. What the hell's uh, happening? Sputter. Straight sputter. Sputtering rainbows. You need to get that checked. <laughs> Same thing. Same thing. Sputtering rainbows. Come on. <laughs> Elephant has to get that check. Does acid give you like any stomach twist, like shrooms nah. do or not? No, no, no. Okay. no. It looks like he's blowing a fart. Yeah, why is he right? constantly blowing? Yeah, he's like riding a fart. <laughs> Damn. Constantly Gacious. blowing ass. Over the line. They got some power, sent him back like <laughs> 20 feet. <laughs> oh, blowout right He's here. shitting out whipped cream. <laughs> yeah. ah. All right. We got Gross. ants showing off guns and noses. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. Okay, yeah. That's stupid enough where I like it. <laughs> the fact that they have no eyes. Yeah. <laughs> it's just noses, bro. It's just noses, dude. <laughs> that one. The nose, nose, man. Arms. <laughs> Follow my name. Uh, and Axel nose. Axel yeah. nose. <laughs> well done. Don't let those guys borrow your cocaine. No, no, no. Up. <laughs> Never. Can I have hey, a bump? Can I borrow your yeah. cocaine? Can I get a bump? <laughs> no, you cannot. <laughs> Sir Hoover. No. Mm. <laughs> and we got, a, let's see here. We got MZ. He's saying his favorite papers are zigzag hemps. Zigzag. 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 You need to get some funky field tips for them crutches. <sighs> That's a big, giant negative, <laughs> Roger. <laughs> Hemp. All right. You don't like those step tone? I'm not using either of those. <laughs> Word. Not even in an emergency? No. <laughs> he will find his way. I'll smoke it raw with the hand. All right. All right. We got Mike up in here saying after Jason gets his tax return. Nice. Damn. Jason is stylish. <laughs> 
The scenario, Crystal that, Lake. That's, that's pretty hard, though, right there. <laughs> Should have got that Gucci, though, instead. Yeah. That's next season. Or at least the Dami A print, man. What's wrong with the Louis? I don't like the monogram. I like the Dami A. All right, I guess so. That's yeah. it. Should have got MCM. Just need that GG. We got uh, Rachel saying, you guys got to try the Cookies Dual Chamber Vaporizer. What? Do I? Mm. What is it? Is it necessary? Well, like, it would be I nice. think it has three different flavors in one vape, so you can kind of choose which flavor you want at the moment. I think you just, like, click a button and you oh, smoke that side of the vape. Oh, uh, okay. With oh. the other button, you can smoke the other side of the vape. That's pretty cool. All right. If, if you like this, let you enjoy. <laughs> that part. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Damn, but... Sorry, man. We got one happy mama. She's showing off. Has some gorilla size hail, as they call oh it. Oh my Damn. god! What? That'll, that'll kill you. Real and she's what? saying it wasn't fun driving in this. That shit will break your head open. Yeah, real man. Will. People die from that'll that. That'll crack your window. Holy fuck! Look at that thing, man. <laughs> Bro, the biggest I seen back home was like I don't know, like like about like a golf oh. ball. Bro, it destroyed every car for five miles. Like, every car was literally yeah. almost totaled. Like, it dead broke windows. If you were outside, you would have got real fucked Yeah, that's up. cracking windows at the least. For sure. That's cracking And insurance don't out. cover that. Yeah. Well, certain places do, but if you're in an area that's prone to it, you can't even get hell in jail. Here they yeah. don't, because they don't yeah. expect hell to be cracking our windows. Right, exactly. Mm -hmm. But, like, in other places like that, probably. Yeah. We got Midget Mike showing off Eric Bobo, Be Real, and Pedro. Is that what it's supposed to be? Yeah. Taking it, the Taking it to the streets. Taking it, it to the streets. Taking it to the streets. Who's riding the little kid to the street. That's probably Pedro. <laughs> Should be me. Right. On, the, on the little bike. <laughs> on the little, uh -huh. on the little yeah. bike. No, Whoa. Get me a little tricycle. Yeah, with training wheels. <laughs> Brand. Big wheel. Man, you look great on the little rider bike. I'll take a big wheel next time. You Dude. Oh, man. With the skid out. Dude, yeah, with the 360. Yeah, the skid out was everything, it bro. Is, yeah. <laughs> that thing spin, that was the greatest, bro. The green oh, machine. So you green. thought yeah, you were yeah, really showing machine. off with that shit right the there. Night rider. <laughs> you really Do you remember did. the Night Rider one? Yeah, yeah the Hot did. Wheels Night Rider. That was dope. Uh, yeah. Maybe you guys saw this one. I don't know if you did. Do you remember that boof ass Evil Knievel one they had where it wasn't yeah. like a, a pedal like this? It was like the. Yeah, yeah. you charge, like you pull back and then... Yeah, off. and it yes. had the, the handlebars like yes. this and the big fat <laughs> yeah. wheels and one wheel in the front. Yeah. That was the worst yeah, shit. Because you, you couldn't really do shit do in that, but it. go straight. <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh, you couldn't skid out like on a big wheel. No, or a green machine. Or a green machine, yeah. Green machine. Green, green machine. All I right. used to do jumps on those things and everything. Yeah, man. I, still like, crazy. I still got one. I still got one. Do you really? Wow. Wow. Yeah, I'd like to see you get on that right now. No, you don't. Try <laughs> out uh, that, that will that will the not Attica. be restored. <laughs> I am not bringing that back out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, you just keep that tuck. Son. Yeah, that's tuck. All right. <laughs> we got Midget Mike showing off some L.A. Riders. Look at that. Okay. Oh, word up. Oh, they would love that. They'd probably make a shirt out of that ASAP. But you know, you're riding motorcycles right there. We're riding bikes. Bikes, mm -hmm. yo. Bike. There's got to be some good videos of people like bombing hills on a green machine. Yeah, a big wheel oh, somewhere. Man. Someone took a chance. Spin out. Oh, at you know, if you're lucky, that's all it was. That's Ooh. all. If you're lucky. If you're lucky. Because once you slide on the big wheel going down the hill, you, it don't matter there's, what brakes you put on. Yeah, there's yeah, no stopping. There are nope. no brakes. Yeah, yeah, there ain't no brakes. No nope. stopping this now. Except for that park car. <laughs> except for, yeah, except for yep. the park well car. That's not going to move. You better steer that shit straight, man, and hope there's <laughs> nothing coming on the, yeah, the no other cross end. traffic. Yeah. Man. I, man, I crashed my big wheel. I made a hole in the tire. Yeah, because like, they were plastic. Hole. They yeah. would they'd literally yeah. get holes in them. They weren't rubber. They would crack. I'd yeah. say, yo, what happened? Crickety crack. Yeah. Any all bad right. crashes yet on your guys' ride or not? No. 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 Not Just, yet. you know, Pedro almost dying on the 6th Street Bridge. <laughs> Like it was saving Private Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> you can make it, soldier. Hey, Pedro, you all right? He says, man. <laughs> I just got to right here for a man. I want to sit down right here. Right. He said, no, get up, Pedro. Don't sit down. Keep going. <laughs> man. But he made it. He did. He made it. It was a good ride. You will love this ride, but, you know, they take other rides. Jeff Tone. And I know you got plenty of bikes already. What, do, what, you got a 26 no, I, frame, just, right? I just got me a 29-inch. Oh, you just got a 29? What what uh, what brand? SE. I got the Monster Quad. 
You got the SC Monster Quad. Yep. Nope. How do you feel about Redline? Oh, I love the Redline. The old Redlines, they're great. Yeah. The new one. But I mean, a, like a 29-inch Redline. Yeah. Would you rock that? Yeah, hell yeah. Yeah. What I'm going to look, I'm gonna right look into that because I used to love Redlines. I got me some Redline Flight Cranks for my, for my quad. Word. That's my that's my oh, my crank so arms of choice. Those old bikes. It's one bad. speed. One speed, yeah. Yeah, single speed. The red line. That's dope. Dope. Yeah, that's what everybody was riding. There was only one dude with gears, but yeah. he never shifted. Right. Yeah. I knew a guy like that. In my neighbor too. Yeah. All right. On the highest show in the world right now. Not the green thumb show. You rocking with Trader Truth, aka King Truth. What up? It's Nate No Face. We're here on Be Real TV, the Dr. Green Thumb show, the highest show in the world. Hey, man, it on BP, and I'm here fucking with Dr. Green Thumb. What's up, guys? It's Nick Tucker here. We're here at the Dr. Green Thumb show. It's your girl, Tammy, aka the Cannabis Cutie, and I'm at the Dr. Green Thumb show, the highest show in the world. What's up, Fu Felipe Esparza here? I'm about to be on a Dr. Green Thumb show, the highest show in the world. Fuck everybody else. Fuck everybody. Fuck Willie Barcena. Fuck that fool with his dead lazy eye. I'm just kidding. I'm right here to start trouble, dog. <laughs> oh, man. Wanna be starting something? Fuck everybody. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's get into the insane asylum. But before that, remember, you know, like if you're a member of our BeReal.tv site, you know, you get, uh, you get that in on some of our merch exclusive to the site. Check it out. We got a new Dr. Green Thumb shirt. There's posters, stickers, hoodies available of this particular design. Get down with it at www.bereal.tv. All right. Yeah, I'm on. And now we over the doors to the insane asylum. Got a comic question, shout out, suggestion. Pop it off, B. Welcome to the insane asylum. All right, let's do this. We got Teresa up in here saying, I was going to say Tool has a no phone policy. Hmm. Yes. Yeah, so what I heard Tool's done and is that they do no phones for almost the entire show up until the last last song. Last song. Then he lets you guys, he lets everyone take him on and they can film whatever they want. Hmm. So interesting. So what happens though in the beforehand is somebody gets caught with the phone they get kicked out <laughs> they get the patada. they get warned one time and then they get kicked out if he if if because maynard will yell at you from stage turn the fucking phone off man yeah get the fuck out security see i got the phone man get him out security 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 hey security hey kurt that's a secure up in her oh man I couldn't see myself doing that. We got Aaron Donald up in here saying football interfered with my Dr. Green Thumb showtime. Oh, boy. Oh, wow. Sorry. Sports. We're glad you're here, though. We got uh, Michael up in here saying, ah, oh, my arch enemy, big drum Eric Bobo. I'll <laughs> defeat you. <laughs> He's trying to defeat everyone. Battle down. Wow. On your Mickey Mouse drum set. <laughs> <laughs> We got Scott Green saying, I took a 100 milligrams THC tablet about two hours ago, and you guys are making my high nice and chill. All right. Thanks, y'all. <laughs> Salute. That's what we do, yeah, right dude. Glad to be of service, my friend. We got A-Lo saying, that's what I like about metal shows. There's lots of tradition that takes place. People get moshed and mopped if they stay on their phones in that kind of crowd. Mm -hmm. True. We got Emma saying, yeah, you, um... Yeah, a sold-out ticket or sold-out show and its exposure to other fans that want to see you live. He's, asked, or he's saying about people uh, bringing cell phones to concerts. Yeah. I think people have exposure from fans. I mean, yeah, nothing, sure. beats, nothing beats the live experience, but uh, it can hype you up if you see something filmed on YouTube. Or, if you see a yeah. clip, if you, you see the whole clip. show, then you have saw the whole show. Right. right. And we got Frostman up in here saying he's riding his bike on the marathon path tomorrow night. Busted. Nice. Oh, it's tomorrow night. Bro. Oh, there you go, Bobo. Tomorrow night. Marathon. Wow, bro. Going down. Mm -hmm. And we got oh, Al Loke and Christian Leon and Seeking Vegas Sunrise. Thank you guys so much for your super chat. 
And we got Marbell up in here saying, listen here, America, don't trust a guy that can't read. A guy that's a Swifty, don't trust him if he likes Nickelback. Oh, he spelled Nickelback with two Cs. Don't trust him if he's a jabroni. That's what he's saying. Uh, <laughs> That wow. is a deep burn. Uh, I wonder so who he's talking about. Nickelback Swifty Jabroni. So freaking deep. <laughs> and uh, speaking of Marbell, shout to Callie Blaze. He yeah. hopped in on movie night the other night. Marbell yes. was in there as well. Yeah, shout man. to Bobo for movie night. Yep. It was a good time. Yep. Oh, man. Uh, are you talking about B movie night? I was yeah. talking about RBR. Oh, boy. I don't know if we could say the movie on <laughs> I don't, here. I don't think we can. <laughs> but, Why? Man, a lot wrong? of titties, I'll tell you that. Why no, the movie was called yeah. Run, oh, Bitch, Run. Yeah. <laughs> oh, why couldn't you say that? I mean, yeah, I don't yeah, want to be family. I mean. But yeah, oh, it was great. Bobo mm. almost had people sign a disclaimer before we watched it. Yeah, because you know, because it was a little fucked up. There was, you know, there was some rapes and there, there was, was some shit, shit in there. I'm like, yo, oh, this yeah. is not. This is for the strong. <laughs> what the big ups to stepped on. Said, yo, this is only for the strong. Yeah. Uh, I, Who right. picked it? You? Yeah. <laughs> so they, so had they, you seen it before? <laughs> Uh, a little bit, yes. <laughs> a little, wait, what, what does a little bit yes mean? Uh, a little bit mean enough of it that I knew that it was perfect for B-movie B night. Like, <laughs> I saw enough of it. I saw over an hour of it. I'm like, this is great. I want to be surprised for the rest of it. <laughs> oh. But, but what I then did. Then you surprised everybody. But what I, yeah, but people were like, whoa. I said, yo, this is the trailer. I'm going to show this first. And then if y'all still with it, y'all can leave yeah. or you can stay. And I think you were the asshole as it goes. Like Kelly Blaze's voice first. Like you even came on to say that. But the thing is, is that the <laughs> yeah. dude kind of sounded like you. And he was he saying did. some Kelly Blaze kind of lines over there. Did. And then you yeah. popped in. It was like, oh, my God. <laughs> there he is. Yeah. Wow. Wow. The movies you pick, Bobo. Yeah, man. Movies I got to send pick. you the trailer. You'll get a kick out yeah, of it. I don't know if I need it. Oh, man, that'd be funny. <laughs> I've gone this far. <laughs> we got Balls Mahoney up in here saying, Who ordered the spicy Italian? That's what he's saying. We got Donnie up in Calling here. It. Shout out to Donnie, Illicit, and Cast One. Thank you guys so much for your super chats. Yeah. And we got Midget Mike saying, Yo, B, did you ever decline a guest? Did I ever decline a guest? Like any guest that ever wanted to be on the show and you said no? No, <sighs> I don't recall doing that yet. I mean,. No, not really. No. And shout to a boxing Greg H and Hag. Thank you guys so much for your super chats. Hag. Hag hog. I know he's spelling <laughs> no. it H A G. No, I'm just saying the way you would say it. Hag. <laughs> we got a uh, Kiko from the South saying Bobo had to come in hot with the iconic entrance today on the Strong <laughs> Friday. Yep. Uh, it was reminiscent, reminiscent of the Soul Assassin show Yeah, uh, yeah. back in the days. <laughs> I did leave it. I said, yo, I'm coming in hot. I did leave that in the... Uh, it came in, in cold, bro. It took wow. like 20 minutes. Hot means fast. You were there like 20 minutes. Yeah, you came in hot. way cold. That's I, came in I wasn't came in. too late. I wasn't too late. <laughs> you weren't coming too, in hot. You wasn't yeah, too you early either. either. I wasn't, no. You wasn't no. too early. <laughs> I was trying to come in hot, and then something, something cooled off. Something uh, cooled off. Coming in medium. I'm like, know. oh man. No. Oh man. Oh my God. All right. Next in here, we got J Max C saying this time slot is great because uh, when the show starts, I'm three hours into some RSO. Woo! Yeah. yeah. He's asking the table, who are some of your favorite producer slash rappers? Pete oh. Rock. Yeah. Uh, I'll say Dilla. Dilla all day. And Evidence. Evidence, too, yeah. And Alchemist. Alchemist. The mighty D-R-E. D-R, yeah. The mighty D-R-E. Yeah, Hell yeah. And I'll, I'll throw a name out there. I think Apathy is a deal. Apathy, yeah. He yeah, does absolutely. have no Absolutely. Yeah. Ill Bill, too. Yes. Hey, Diamond E. Diamond. Diamond. Diamond yes. D. Yes, true that. About Rick Rubin. He, he doesn't rap. He doesn't oh, rap. I thought you said producer too. Uh, Producers who rap. Oh, who rap. My bad. I thought it was Eric Sermon. Word. Eric Sermon. Oh, word. Eric Psycho Less. Sermon. Psycho, Psycho Lee. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Next up in here, we got Iguana and John O. Thank you guys so much for your super chats. Yeah, yeah. Thank we got you. Karina saying, I love this time slot for Friday. Just Friday, though. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Sounds about right. Yes. All right, we got Al Loke for Steph Tone. Was the original moon landing all made up in a Hollywood basement? 
Made up somewhere. See, somehow. Let me tell you something. I don't agree with him, obviously, with the somewhere. Thing, but when it comes to the moon, I am skeptical. I'll tell you that. Not I think that we're all skeptical. Exist, right. Skeptical yeah, about that the landing. landing yes, yes, correct. So I was about to say, I think we have the ability to be there, but I, yes. I don't. We know have if the we ability to did. be there now, yeah. if if you know that, right. right? But like back then, it was about Beating showing Russia. showing the enemy that we were advancing, correct. even if we were bluffing. Yep. You know, and I don't think at that time we were bluffing. I believe it too. I think that didn't was just some, to show Russia. Didn't up. something just land on the moon recently? Yeah, yeah in, China. Was it China or, or India? Yeah, India, nope. I think. India. Yeah, it was India. Yeah, they, India. Now the first Seven Eleven <laughs> just opened up too. By the way. Nope. <laughs> then landed on the moon. Then. Like, didn't happen. That's a negative. Oh my God! <laughs> and I threw something in there. It went right over. Right over. All right. All right, next up in here, we got Karina again saying, y'all didn't specify U.S. residents only, so if so, I'll be in Illinois next week. If I win, y'all can send prize to my hotel. Okay. There you go. That works. Shout out to the Inner Realms and Funky Doobie. Thank you guys for your super chats. Yeah. And we got Mad Way saying salute to the table, THD crew, and all the 5150s. Mad Way. Salute. Shout out, shout out. How's it going? Shout out to Louie Two Joints and Mike for your super chats. And shout out to Twacklack. He's saying shout out to the table, THD crew, and 5150's Blessings Fam. Shoot too, mate. Back to you, big dog. We got Utah Hawk. He's saying the 40-yard dash record broke this year at 4.21. Crazy. Probably by some big motherfucker, too. That's just crazy. Even the small dudes are still, you know, 220 and whatever. So to do those times, it's insane. Yeah, it was by uh, Xavier Worthy. It took me He's four worthy. minutes. <laughs> He's a uh, Texas Longhorn wide receiver. 20 seconds. Okay. We got Utah Hawks saying, thanks, Be Real TV, for the highest show and for bicking it with us Monday through Friday. Love the new <laughs> Friday time. How is the new set list going for the upcoming tour? Can't wait. How's it going, Bobo? It's going great. <laughs> Working on some flips. Yeah. It's excellent. It's going good. Like backflips you're working on? No. <laughs> yeah. I have a list for you on Monday. All right. I believe that. Backflip Bobo. We got Jinx Max up in here saying dope show time. Um, dope show time is good for Fridays. They like in the time. Yeah. Man, if I did a backflip right now, I'd just straight scorpion myself. <laughs> oh, for sure. Yeah, I'd, I'd fuck wouldn't? myself smooth up. <laughs> yeah. I don't even think I can even... Even an arch like that, my back would snap. I was never a, <laughs> I was smashed. never a gymnast to begin Me with. Either. Just smash my skull <laughs> right into my shoulders. Yep. Mm -hmm. Dude, bedridden for like three days. Did you do all, it on the diving board or not? Eat all kinds of shit. On a diving board, maybe, but I ain't even gonna try it. <laughs> not at fifty foe. I mean I'm gonna be fifty foe, but I would not try it at fifty foe. Mm -mm. Fifty foe. It's a negative. In my twenties, yeah, I used to backflip off the board, not perfectly, but I could do it. Now, I ain't trying that shit. Any now. diving board flip it resulted in a yeah. belly flop or a back, back flop. Because mm -hmm. all it takes is one slip on that board. In <laughs> Dunzo. Dunzo. And it's a viral moment. Dunzo moment, man. Well, I'm trying to preserve yes. anything in my back that's good. Yeah, no sciatica. <laughs> no sciatica, man. All right. All right, next up in here, we got Robin DeHood saying, thanks for another week of shows. Have a nice weekend, everyone. You too. You have a nice weekend, Thank too. You. Thank you. Shout have out to Psycho weekend. Beta Beatdown for the super chat, and we got Infinite Blessing saying, can we get some ohms? Stay blessed. Okay. okay. <clears throat> we need Stay that. Blessed. Let's go into a Friday, you know, <clears throat> peaceful and, yeah, like and, and calm. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. you may join <clears throat> us if you like, all right? But just remember, chill out, man. Oh. oh. That was real omish. Oh, Very omish. Super. I could, I could feel it all through my all through my temple, son. Oh. My pineal gland was vibrating. It was so good. <laughs> Damn. It was gooder. 
Yeah, What'd you say? Yeah. My pineal glands. It's pineal. <laughs> <laughs> it's right next to my dwarf. Oh, oh yeah. boy. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? <laughs> next. And we got Dab Waxington saying cheers to be real and the crew. Much love to y'all. Hell yeah. <coughs> Much love back to you, baby. Right back Dab to you, boy. Come on, boy. Ow. We got a Javi G saying, yo, Uncle B, can my Perro Tuco get a happy birthday? He's six. Perro Tuco. Perro? Perro Tuco. Oh, oh. Tuco. Tuco Salamanca? Perro. Yeah. Perro. <laughs> my Perro. My Perro. Oh, my God. Tight, 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 tight. <laughs> At least he's open Tuco. to it. At least he's Perro. tried. He's really tried right there. Uh, yeah, up, happy bro? birthday, Tuco. Salamanca. He's saying he watches the show with me religiously and shout to the table. Salute. What up? Salute. We got Funky Doobie saying, all right, last Friday was Mickey's. Now I'm having a Guinness in honor of a House Guinness? of Pain and St. Patty's weekend. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Now I'm having a Guinness. You know, what are you drinking? Guinness. Guinness. I'll have a Guinness. <laughs> yeah, is that how you say it? A Guinness. Guinness. And let me get a Guinness. A Guinness. Guinness. It's you a Guinness. Guinness. A Guinness. A Guinness. No, it's a Guinness. No, it's a Guinness. <laughs> it's a Guinness. Genius. Guinness. <laughs> You're a genius. <laughs> or the way um, Bolton, so, would, uh, Bolton would pronounce it, Guinness. Guinness. <laughs> That was, that's actually my, one of my favorite beers. Yeah. All right. Okay, what up, Guinness. Holmes, to Miklo before you shot him? <laughs> <laughs> we got Mark up in here saying Bolton used to be on tour with Bad Bunny. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That'd be dope. We got Fernando up in here saying, shout to Jade, happy birthday, love mom and dad. Yeah, happy birthday, Jade. It, was, <laughs> it was Bad Bunny and Rad Rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> bad Bolton. <laughs> no, don't try to change it. <laughs> <laughs> happy birthday. And next up in here, we got a Burn saying, what to do, shout to the table, one love. And we got Ask a Bum. Cali Blaze, yep. why ain't you Brooklyn Blaze? You're from New York. Yeah, well, it, first of all, just you know, my real name is Blaze. That's number one. And when I used to, when I moved out here, started going back home, they used to try to tell me that I sound like I'm California. So it started like mm. a joke. Oh, Cali Blaze over here, and I used to get mad. Fuck you, you know. And then I'm like, yeah, God tell them in California because I say two words. And I'm like, right, from New York. And I've been here for 18 fucking years. So <laughs> they, it started as a joke. And then when I started my brand, it just like it just worked because blaze can mean weed too. So it, it's it very of, organic. Yeah, and yeah. It didn't, you know, people great. didn't know what to name, so it's just like they just think it's like blaze. So yeah. it worked, you know. Yeah. Right. But I am blaze and why it would be. Blaze you definitely not sound New York. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> they tell me when I go back home, like Derek, hey dude, I'm like fuck you. I bro. think they're just giving you the they shit. Probably. Yeah. Do. Really? They tell you? Yeah. They, they go, you sound like you're from out there now. I'm like, tell that to them because they don't agree. <laughs> yeah. No, they're just giving you the business. And they know. They, they know it fills me with rage. That's why. Yeah. They're pushing your buttons, B. And we got Javi G, My Ferret Stash, My Weed, and uh, let's see, one Happy Mama. Thank you guys so much for your super chats. Oh, yeah. Right on. Thank you, Happy Mama. Yeah. And we got M. Kush G saying, Yo, B, check out LA Critical Mass Rideout. I will. We got Hybrid Cypher St. Bolton, Blom, Flo, Steptone, BC, Cali, and Mr. Bongo. Shout to you guys. All right. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. And one happy mama is asking, yo, when is Dr. Green Thumb's Michigan opening? Uh, we'll be having that date for you soon. Um, it's almost there, actually. Yeah. Excellent. We got Ask a Bummy saying, most badass athlete ever, I say, Xavier McDaniel. Um, I don't know about that, but he was definitely a tough bastard. Like he used to give other basketball players the business. I remember he choked out Nick Van Exel one time, and uh, Michael Cooper Damn. had to come to the rescue of I Nick Van Exel. That game, yeah. yeah. Nick, uh, uh, like Michael Cooper went over there, and you know, because he was not afraid of nobody, he went right over there and, like, you know, took Xavier off of Van Exel, but he had a Van Exel by the neck, son. Remember that, Bobo? That was crazy. Oh, my man. God. Did you see when Anthony Mason picked up Minute Bowl? That was ridiculous. Like, oh, yeah. What the hell, man? Like, Minute Bowl was like just a twig. And Anthony Mason's shoulders were like the width of him. It was like, yeah, he's a big dude, Anthony no Mason. Joke, yeah, he was jacked, bro. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, there it is. Oh, was it Minute? It was no, it, uh, it was, it was, uh, who was that player? Damn. Who was that player? Forget. I forget who he did in the that. caption, Bolton. Who he's choking? <laughs> Let me uh, look here quick. Yeah. I thought it was Van Exel, but 
Yeah, I guess this was, you know, a little yeah, bit was, before Van X was. This time. was televised. Yes, this was on on West Matthews. West Matthews. That's that's embarrassing for West Matthews that Xavier McDaniel <laughs> choke your ass out with both hands. He's like, look here, <laughs> dude's on his knees look at too. That. He's yeah. like, I got you, motherfucker, right here. Yeah, for it. Yeah. You're in man. the clutches. He said, man, say it, said, it again, man. fool. Say it again, man. I think he played for uh, the Supersonics, right? Yeah, that's Supersonic uniform. Yep. Supersonic. Yeah. That's how you go to prison right there, that move. Before the Thunder was the Thunder, there was the Sonics. Mm. Yeah, he was punking out Wes right there. Michael Cooper came to his rescue. And two-handed choke someone on TV. He did. (laughs) He got fined for it, but I mean, you know. You're lucky, that's all. He, hey, hey, he was like off the chain, that dude right there. He was the intimidator. All right. We got a tuna fighter. He's saying, before you guys quit blunts, did you ever pack stuffies or roll two blunts together lengthwise, a.k.a. a woo wop? Wait, say that again. Before you guys quit blunts, did you ever pack stuffies or roll two blunts together lengthwise, a.k.a. a woo wop? Like extend yeah. those? Um... Yeah, we did something like that a couple times for sure. Double barrel, double barrel blast, you know what I mean? Two blunts rolled side by side. Definitely. We got Renegade Sketches saying, what up, first time chatter, long time listener, hey. all the way Bay Area to Houston. Salute. Hell yeah. Thank you for being here with us and, you know, taking the time to, you know, be in the first timers club, you know what I mean? Hey. You know. Bay Area, man. Keep, <laughs> keep connected with us, you know? Excellent. We got Jibby up in here saying to the one and only C-minus, wish you all the best this and every other year. You're a great son, father, friend, and DJ. Much love to you. Oh, thank you, Jibby. I appreciate that. Oh, and yeah. We got Emma up in here saying, out of all the names to have, Blaze is pretty cool. Yeah, man. Yeah. I mean, definitely, oh, and especially so... in my time now, you'll see more Blazes, but when I was young, there was none, like literally. Like, nobody knew it. Now, like, everyone's like, oh, my friend and my kid that. It's, like, a little more common. Not very, but they're out there. Yeah. And let's see here. Next one up in here. Shout out to Jax. Thank you so much for your super chat. And we got Kappa up in here saying love to my mom who passed away a few hours ago. Oh, man. Oh, rest in peace, rest man. In peace. Prayers to you and your family. Deepest condolences, man. We got Utah Hawk. He's saying, I am too into the show to pull out my cell phone, but my wife always gets killer videos and photos. Mm. Good for you. You yeah. get to enjoy it, and she gets to record it. Yeah. yeah so Teamwork. And win, win, yep. <clears throat> oh, God. We got Utah Hawk asking, yo, Steph, how do you explain seeing, seeing the different sky in the southern hemisphere? Shouldn't we all see the same sky worldwide? Congrats on Coachella. Yeah, we do. It's just... Uh... From a different, pers- it's just it's perspective. That's all. You know, your think about it. Right, right now the sun is out, and if you were in Australia right now, you, we're looking at the exact same sun, and we're both and we're both standing upright. Yet you are expected to believe they're down on the bottom side, down under. It's no down under, just out there. Down under is just the term. They don't they don't think they're really down under. Well, they're just further south. Exactly. <laughs> I love it. Yes. South yeah. is all points away from north. North being the center. Work. We got above and below. I don't even know what he's trying to say here. He's saying, Bolton, can you say me gusta? Run. Oh, my God. What does that work? Me. Me gusta? Uh-huh. Run, run, near? Run, run, near? Eh. Pour my bell. Uh, what is he Go saying? Go Ray. Uh, Ray. Is it spelled right, Ray? Run, run near. <laughs> the fuck oh, is man. that, man? That? The, I've never heard Nobody this word neither. Know. New words. All right. Yeah, yeah, and uh, that seems to be it so far. All right. Yeah. Oh wait, we got one more. We got Ronald. Ronald saying, "Yo, can't wait to can't wait to see Cypress Hill at Red Rocks." Let's go. When, I dare you, B. When is that happening? Uh. Pfft. You're asking me? 
I'm a Zazen. So Bolted. Be, put up the calendar. Cycle. Maybe uh, April 27th. Let me get this up here. Boom, 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 That's boom, what boom, he boom. said to her. <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I believe this is Sublime with Rome. One of their last tours. Nice. With Rome. It's always great to play Red Rock. It's one of my favorite places. Yeah. It's going to be good. Gonna be good, yeah. Hey, um, shall we give this box away? I uh, just give me a couple minutes to uh, get the names put All right. together here. All right, well, you're getting that together. Mega Millions. Oh man, it's at eighty-one. Uh, it's eight hundred fifteen million estimated cash value. Sure. Three hundred eighty-five point one million. Powerball is at six hundred million estimated cash value. Two hundred ninety-three point. Four million. When is that next drawing? Is it tonight? Tonight. We're not even going to be able to buy it afterwards. Yeah, you can. Stop buy it right now. I think Bring it's 7.30. It. I think it's they seven. cut it off for something. Barely going to be 7, man. Run to the donut shop. Let's <laughs> buy a thousand of them. <laughs> well, I'm expecting to win. So when I do, <laughs> we'll all be retired together. We're going to have a good time. Hell oh, yeah. There it is. Ditto. Ditto. Uh, I mean, we're just saying the term retire. We won't be retired. Right, we just party. We'll just be doing shit for fun. At we this just won't point. be working. Right. Yeah, we'll just be doing things for fun. You know. What I'm yeah. Saying? Um, Madonna called out a fan for sitting during her concert, oh, only to find oh. she was in a wheelchair. Yes. Oh. That was ridiculous. Why are you sitting? And then someone like she was like, she's in a wheelchair. Oh, yeah. And that's that's one. you know what? That's the true like want to get away moment. Yeah, mm. you know what I mean. Like they were yeah. making for Southwest Airline, want to get away. <laughs> that was Madonna's <laughs> want to get away <laughs> moment right there. But it was also kind of like not to be stupid, like not a little arrogant. But what someone can't sit down, everyone has to be on their fucking feet. Maybe that was the feet same hurt. thing that happened. Maybe their in, legs hurt in like, some the state fuck? of the union or something. It's like stand up, Joe, and he's sitting in the wheelchair. Yeah. Like, wait a minute, <laughs> I can't. <laughs> yeah, I can't. Here, yeah, I got the clip right here for you. Yeah, let's see the clip. I saw that. Check this guy with me. What are you doing sitting down over there? Uh, what are you doing sitting down? Oh, okay. Politically incorrect. Sorry about that. I'm glad you're here. Haha. <laughs> Politically incorrect, she oh says. Oh my god. <laughs> Wanna get away? <laughs> oh, that's great. She said, on your feet. That's all right. Man, Oops. Every one of so us. Rude. Just get ready. Everybody's going to say so something rude. dumb sometime. Yeah. You know, my Madonna. But still. <laughs> we love. We love Madonna. Madonna. Even when she says dumb. Even when she <laughs> says dumb shit. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. No, right. <laughs> Is that the last one? Yeah. 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 That's the last one? Uh yeah. So uh we're gonna do the giveaway right here. All right, pop it off, B. Right all right, here. here we go. We got thirty six oh, entries. Let's see what's up. Oh, look at all the Here we go. Look at all the entries. Entries. Look oh, at here. Oh. Entrada. Oh, oh, oh. No. Dab oh, Dab Waxington. Oh. Winner it. of the box. By so close. Hunter. The box. So close. A little red one. All right. Uh, send us your information to be real TV contest at gmail.com and we'll send you the box, mine. And congratulations. There you go. We thank everybody for getting down with us uh, this Friday evening. Um, pop off with us next week, 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, uh, 8 Eastern, for anybody who want to watch the Friday Late Show um, of the Dr. Green thumb pop off. All right. Uh, we thank you. We invite you. We salute you. Send much love. And uh, to those that need it, man, much positive vibes to you. C minus. Shout out to everyone here at the table B, Blaze, Steph Tone, uh, Eric Bobo. Shout out to the Treehouse crew, Dom, Ray, Bolton. Shout out to Aton and Dro and Javi Lopez and Psycho S and E Zone. And everyone else, uh, Yaga over at Funky Field Tips, uh, everybody that just hangs with us. You can uh, follow me at C minus fan four uh, on all the social medias. And I love you, mom. And I love you, my son. I love my sister, my nieces, and nephews. And you guys are the raddest. And I'll see you guys coming soon. Eric Bobo.
All right, y'all. Uh, catch me on the shows uh, on the socials on X, Twitter, at Eric Bobo on IG at Eric underscore Bobo, and also on Discord, uh, <clears throat> Bobo's Corner and Insane Asylum. Big ups to everybody here at the table. And just to let you know, on the twenty third next Saturday, uh, Bobo Bongo Jam is going to be live, going down at the Astor Club, then the Bias Club, and also Cali Bay. What day? On the 23rd. Oh, hell yeah. Saturday. On Saturday from 8 to 12. Oh, wow. Sabado. So uh, it's going to be on and popping. So uh, we'll have more info up there, and Kelly Blaze will let you know. Uh, but yeah, it's going to be on and popping. So thank you very much. And for everybody that supports the show, Snacks and I, we say Buddy. Bolton. Shout out the Insane Asylum. Thank you guys so much. Shout out to Ray Morning Shot Films. Shout out to the Dominator. And like I said yesterday, yo, shout out to all our mods in the Discord, in the Twitch, and in the YouTube. You guys mean a lot to us, and you guys do a lot of work, so thank you guys so much. Um, Kelly Blaze, or Septone, what's up? Uh -huh. Yeah, man, that is a lot of work they be doing. Hell yeah. Shout out to all y'all guys. Um, Mark Sargent, Karen B., David Weiss, Kelly Blaze, B., C-minus, Bobo, Bolton, Ray Ray, Morning Shot Films, Taryn of Velvet Hammer, Dominator, Aton, Pedro, uh, Kenji, Psycho Leezy, E Zone, uh, Trace, and all the Asylum, Twitch Ward, Squirrelies. Y'all have a great weekend. Uh, catch y'all next week. Hell yeah. Hell blaze. Uh, shout out to everybody at the table, 5150s, Insane Asylum. Like Bobo said, definitely come check us out next Saturday, Ask the Club, uh, Cypress Junkies, DJ Redmatic, uh, Bobo. And maybe a couple of people are going to be there. And it's going to be a real small, intimate experience. We're going to post up a flyer. I think there's only going to be about 40 tickets. So we can keep it nice and, nice and like, you know, controlled and comfortable environment. So, yeah, look forward to that. And I will see everybody on Monday. Check out the mix after this. Swallow that.